Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Okay, found out that Jones ain't right. even considering Sweden. That's not happening. Uh, but he's still, he is kind of ducking him. Then. Now he's then, straight then up saying, no, okay. I don't want to fight Gustin, I want to fight Cormier. And it's like, well, wait, we already had an understanding that you're fighting this guy. Who, who do you think has a better shot at defeating John Cormier. Jones? Cormier? Even I knowing the same thing. Even knowing Gustafson did what he did to him in the first fight, I still say Cormier, I say Cormier beats him. Cormier takes him down, I think I say, it's over. Exactly. We've right. never seen Jones fight off his back. Gustafson, the only guy to ever take him down, he took him down twice. But Jones popped back up pretty much on both occasions. Right. Cormier can not only take him down whenever he wants, he can hold him down. Right. Can Jones beat you off his back? I don't We've think never so. seen that. Know. Yeah, we you know, really But I doubt right. it. Right. I think he's a guy that needs to be either on top or standing and at a distance. You know. Right. Although yeah. he proved with Glover, he can fight in close, too. Huh. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting, really interesting. Huh? There's that, and then, my God. Chael and uh, exactly. Peter and Vanderlei. Chael Sonnen and, Chale and, Sonnen and, and Vanderlei were scheduled to fight right. in July. Uh, and I won't even get into the backstory of that. That was like the third different show they were going to fight on because they kept moving it and changing it because Vandal and Chael right. all along said Vandalay's not going to show up. He's not going to fight me. He said it all along. He did. He's been saying and it. And then when it right. turned out, they came to a after something uh, press conference after the press conference of the fight because mm-hmm. Chael Vandalay did the press conference with the other man. It's only that's the third top fight on that show. Mm. Also on that show is um, that's, a, that's a huge. Also show, on that huh? show is Ronda Rousey and Alexis Davis. Ronda's fighting, right? And then the main event is Weidman, yeah, and uh, Leota Machida. Machida it's supposed Weidman. to be Weidman Belfort, right? And there's where it gets interesting because all right, Weidman Belfort gets changed to Weidman Leota. Ronda and uh, Alexis Davis say the same, but then Sun and Silva wasn't even supposed to be on this card at first. Then it becomes Sun and Silva on this card. Then it becomes. Well, that's when the story happened. They go to, uh, they do the press conference. They go to drug test Silva in his gym after the press conference. Right. And he literally ran. He refuses to take. Not only him. refused it, he ran away. He ran. he saw them come and they came in or whatever. Told him who they were. He ran to his car and drove away and quickly left. Wow. He ran away from a drug wow. test, which Are pretty you? much tells you what everybody's yeah. always speculated. Yeah. Throughout his career, when he fought in Japan and probably when he don't drug test you. crazy, too. man. It's like, yo, he's clearly been on roids. So, wow. You know. So, uh, so Vanley's out. Right. That's just not happening. Right. Uh, you know, whether or not he ever fights in the UFC again after something like that. Uh, Dana's not happy. happy. We know Dana's not happy. Not at all. No, and he's at the end of his career anyway. Right. But after doing something like that, can you promote that guy and oh. say he's clean? You know, um, but know, anyways, now it's no longer Chael Vanley, It's Chael Vitor. Belfort, the two of the five guys that were well, on TRT in the company, <laughs> well, the two biggest known names on TRT, but the, the problem there is Vitor still has to get licensed mm-hmm. on like June 14th, I think, is the hearing. If he doesn't get a license, then that fight's off too, and then Chael's not on the card at all. But how, how Okay, Vanderlei runs away. He sees the uh, the guys that are about to test him. He well, sees they come in and they tell him who they are. But he's fought in the UFC before, and he's passed drug tests. No, he, so I believe, was he one of the guys on TRT? No, he wasn't. But he's passed drug tests before, so you yeah. think that maybe during his off time, and, and wouldn't that fuck you up where during your off time, you're using steroids, but before the fight, you know you've got to get off the roids. Yeah, you got to cycle Isn't that going to fuck you up? See, that's a good question. Going, if, that's a if, damn good question, and I'm surprised I don't know the answer. I'm sure there's a logical answer that I'm just, I'm not... You would think if it's it would be like withdraw, where if you don't have your drugs, well, you're the question feel of and you're not he's fought be. in Vegas before and he's gotten licensed. Why all of a sudden? That's a great question, and I should yeah, know the answer, weird. but I don't. And I'm sure there's an easy, obvious answer. Yeah. Uh, but whatever the case may be, it's either going to be Chael Vitor or nothing at all, or on that nothing. Card. And it all depends on the license. On if Vitor uh, can get licensed, Vitor. because right. you got to understand, he's failed a drug test before. Mm-hmm. He's been on TRT the whole time. Yep. He was we know to, that, though. We yeah, know. He was supposed to fight Weidman. He couldn't because they banned TRT in Vegas. Mm-hmm. So now, like, it's just a very... There's a lot of shit in MMA. Complicated, right man. Bellator, Complicated. Bellator show got over 100,000 pay-per-view. I guys. Like, we got a lot that. of stuff that we can I, get to. I heard Bellator And there's was, a uh, big, crazy, and, uh, huh? big boxing fight this weekend. Miguel Cotto and Sergio Martinez. Oh, yeah, no it's doubt. It's a real okay. big fight. It's this weekend... Um, no, it's not Cinco de Mayo. Doesn't uh, no, Cotto, Cotto always fights on no, Cinco No, that's Mayweather. Money May and Mayweather, you know. Uh, him too. There's, there's another guy, though, New York City. He always fights in New York City. That's Cotto. He always yeah. fights in Cotto. MSG. Okay. It's always around around the same time, June, okay. July. All right. No doubt. All right, so here we go. Let's get into uh, pro wrestling stuff. Like I said, WWE payback from this past Sunday night. We're going to run that NXT down. NXT TakeOver bottom. on Thursday. NXT TakeOver. Oh, you watched it. I watched it. I was watching I missed the stream. Main event. 
Okay. But I watched the rest. I was watching a stream. I came in here and I said to Boone, I said, are you watching NXT TakeOver? I said, this crowd is awesome, yeah. bro. I mean, they were like die hard. It was like a Chicago crowd or a, a it really, New York City crowd. Yeah, it really felt to me like an old ECW show. It did. Like an right? original ECW. Even the arena where it's a small building. It's smaller, it's more and, personable, right? it's more, you know Absolutely. what I mean? And, and, and all the characters are way different than what you're used to. The style in the ring is different. The feel of the, the show as a whole is different. It just felt different. Sami Zayn and uh, Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze. Match of the night. down of the house. Match of the weekend. I don't think any match on Payback beat that either. Match the last month or yeah. two. You know, Maybe I, match of the year early contender. Although Cesaro. Could be a contender. Cesaro and Sami Zayn at uh, Arrival. That was very was good too, right? pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, what's too. up with these NXT specials, man, right? Uh, uh, man, what's the man, common denominator? Man. Sami Zayn? Sami Zayn, right? In gonna both be matches. A, if they don't... You know who Sami Zayn is, right? Uh, El oh, Generico. El Generico. Yeah. My man! I my man! Saying. But, uh... Ole, 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 They still ole. chant that, too. Yeah, right? they were doing that. If they, they don't slap a lame gimmick on him, when he goes to the main roster, he's getting over. Yeah. He's yeah, just too so. good. I think so. He's just too good. And yeah. he's not too yeah. small like right. Daniel Bryan. I mean, he's smaller, you know... Ah, he's pretty small. He's I not mean, Daniel he's Bryan small, though, is he? Although, you know what? Maybe he maybe is. He's smaller than Maybe Daniel he's Bryan. working with guys that are his height, too, so I don't notice it. He doesn't appear to be short, but he appears to be thin. He's put on, when he's I was watching uh, NXT TakeOver, he's put on a lot of muscle, man, since Has we've he? seen him. Oh, we always saw him under a mask. El Generico was a mask gimmick in, in Ring of Honor, uh, so it's kind of weird seeing him without, yeah. you know, you know. You got his face there, but uh, oh, he's a skinny dude, man. He's he's definitely, yeah. but he's put on a lot more muscle. Is he Australian? Man. I don't know what he is. Who's the guy that was doing interviews recently that said, "Oh no, that's uh, Prince, that's Tyler Breeze, Prince Devitt, Prince Devitt. Prince Devitt, Australian, Prince Devitt's over, or no, or Irish, I mean, something, Prince Devitt, Irish, because he did an interview recently and he was talking about, and, then, an and the guy asked him, "How the hell did you and Seamus never meet up, being?" The two yes, prominent yes, Irish yes. guys. Right, right. So right. he's Irish. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Prince Devitt. I've never heard him cut a promo. I've never seen him work. You know what he looks like? Yeah. I know what he looks like. I've mm -hmm. cropped pictures of him for, for, for posts. Have you ever watched him work? Uh, Prince, Devitt? Prince Devitt? No, I never seen him go back to Japan. Some Japan. Uh, I don't remember. I don't. I don't think I ever saw he him works live. Noah in, uh, a lot. Pro wrestling Noah. Pro wrestling Noah. Right. Yeah. Kenta just. Uh, oh no, that's his, that's uh, who Kenta. I confused. Kenta him. cut his uh, his farewell address. We put the video up on the last uh, yeah, match. Let me uh, plug something real quick. Um, about an hour or two before we came, you get this uh, thing. You bite your lip a lot, and you get like a sore on it, and you keep biting it. Oh, canker it. sores are the worst. Is that part. what they're called? Canker sores. Yeah. I just bite my lip until there's a big sore on it, and then I just ah oh, man, sore canker time. sores hurt. Oh, they hurt. Oh, I haven't had one in a long time. You know, in case people are wondering, I didn't do a bunch of cocaine or nothing. I just got this thing I keep biting on my lip. Orange juice does it. When I drink orange juice, I get canker sores, man. I don't know what it is in the orange juice, but it's something that uh, helps me. I didn't know that's what a canker sore was. It is. Uh, I bit my lip sore. <coughs> About an hour or two before we came on the air here tonight, I got a tweet earlier this afternoon, and uh, once again, uh, and this happened a couple of months ago, a raw script... Right. Has leaked online. Uh, you got it exclusively this time. Nobody's got we, it except we you. We got uh, an exclusive uh, photo. There's two photos of the pre-Raw script, not the actual script for Raw last night, but uh, still interesting. Found it on the ground last night at Raw in Indianapolis. So, so they didn't take our advice on color coding the pages so we know whose know, script it is or signing it or uh, my my <laughs> feeling is that when you go to a television taping, uh, there is a section that is tarped off that has a lot of production equipment and uh, Yeah, first of, of all, I got to interrupt you. Yes. The chat room is exploding talking about how I have herpes. It's the acid. They're saying it's the No, acid. they're saying I have herpes because it's not a cold sore on my lip. It's on the <laughs> inside of my lip from me biting my lip so much <laughs> that there's a big mark on the inside of my lip from biting so much. He's got herpes. Yeah, no He's herpes. He's got herpes. No herpes. Remember that for Francine back in ECW? She's, she's got a, herpes. She's, she's a, a crack or I remember that one. Yeah, she's got herpes. That was mm. another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, no, so we got, um, you know, there was a section <coughs> that, you know, and, and, the crowd is right there, sitting right behind them. And I don't know if, you know, because there's a lot of production guys in that section. You know, the guy that hits the music and the guy, it's that section over there. And the crowd sits right there. So I don't know if some of those production the guy guys are the leaving. Music. The guy that plays the music. 
when he's near the crowd when superstars come out he's right when you come out if you're in the back at the entrance when you come out right near he's gorilla right off to the side he's in gorilla He's not in grip. He's on the other he's side of the curtain. He's on the other he's side. He's in front of the curtain? He's right there. He's right alongside. The guy playing the music that we hear for the entrance. The guy playing Seriously? the music. I didn't There's know There's Gorilla, which is behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah, of course. The guy playing the music is... Okay, if I'm a if I'm a WWE superstar, then I come out, and Titantron's right here and back yeah. of me. Uh-huh. The guy's over here, on the right-hand side, okay. not behind sometimes, the curtain. Like when they throw him off, back. Sometimes when they throw people off the side of the stage, yes. he's over all there. All that stuff, all okay. that stuff over there. I did not know that. He's in that area. I would have sworn he's in the production truck playing the music. No, 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 no. That's all from, that's all from the side, right? Right okay. when you come out. So, and there's a lot of other stuff sure that goes that. on. I'm positive. The I theme music is positive. played from in the arena, in front of the curtain. Every time I go to not the production truck. Every time I go to Raw events in Albany or SmackDown events in Albany, there's a guy, and it looks like a DJ board. Okay, it yeah, looks yeah. like where you put the things well, yeah, up and WCW down. for a while had a like, DJ. Yeah, in the same area you're talking about, it's so where that area you, was. It, it's like when you're in a, uh, a music uh, producing studio, and they do the things, the up and downs. That the control, yeah, the whole, the, all, all the stuff that they have set up. That you can see when I go to a Raw or SmackDown, and there's always a couple guys around there, and they've got the headsets on and everything else. So where I'm going with this is these scripts for the second time have wound up on the floor, uh, and fans have picked them up. And this guy said that last night uh, he it was just on the floor. He picked it up, and uh, there it was the. Uh, the pre-Raw script, you know, the whole pre-show that they do before Raw, 7.30 to 8 or whatever yeah. it is, um, on the network. It's become um, a routine of mine to watch that. So, yeah, we, uh, yeah, you have been watching it, huh? Check it out. I, I like to get the feel of the crowd. Right, And right. see if they're, like, a real, because they're right in the middle of the fucking crowd when they do that pre-show, yeah. that panel. Yeah. So it's nice yeah. to see, like, the energy. From the How about team. Alex Riley on the pre-show, man? He's great. I, he is awesome. Uh, and Isn't somebody he? that I think is underrated that I used to think sucked. A commentary, mm-hmm. and he probably still sucks at commentary. But in the panel role, he's pretty William good. Book, he's not on the panel. Booker, Booker T. Booker T. I think Booker yeah. T. on those panels has been doing pretty good. I thought you were talking about NXT. No, right. no, no. no. The, uh, Although I didn't like his commentary. Recently. I didn't like it either. No, right. And who does he do it with? Byron Saxton. I think that was Alex Riley on NXT commentary. I think it was Byron Saxton, That's William Regal, and Alex Riley. It might have been, but they, the two that I kept hearing were Saxton and Regal, and it was almost like Regal. Knew that Saxon was new because anytime Saxon said something that made sense or was a good point, trying to fuck Regal would no right. Regal would be like, you know what? That's a good point. You're right about like putting him over, like yeah, trying to help true. him build that's his own true. confidence. Like yes, no, you know what? No, no, that's a good point because he Regal would be saying this, this, and this, and Saxon yeah, but- Saxon would say like, well, that's true, but yeah. and then he'd say something else. And Regal, like, putting him up, you know what, no, that's a good point. Because Saxon would almost, like, passively do it. Like, but it's better to yeah, do I've never been in the, I've never been in the ring before, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It's kind of the yeah. impression he gives. But right. I see right. this, this, and this happening. And Regal's like, no, 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 that's a good point. Right. But, you know. <laughs> but it's better to do that than to rib him on air. You know, I yeah. mean, that gets old. Like, well, and NXT JBL. shouldn't be like WWE. They should no. be more serious wrestling. Absolutely. You know? Right, right, right. And they are. And, and, and it works. Yeah, yeah. I um, thought TakeOver was great. Yeah, I'm excited to see the next one. I didn't watch a rival awesome show. I yeah. watched Takeover. I didn't watch a rival. I'm mm-hmm. excited to see the third. one. It was an awesome show, man. It's real it good. Was, the third one hasn't been announced yet, but Triple H announced on the, uh, the a while NXT now. post show. Said a couple of months. Every yeah. couple of months they're going to do uh, a quarter specials. or something, something like that. Yeah, three, four years, four something year. like that. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, the uh, you just put the gallery up. I sent you the uh, the photos yeah. that uh, that we had. So, if you guys want to see the pre-Raw script, it's very similar to what you guys saw a couple of months ago when we put the, uh, the pre-Raw yeah, they script. They have a standard script kind of style yeah. format they use. It's just different right. stuff, you know. Right. Every week they yeah, just this kind segment's of... segment's different, this match's different, but it's the same format. Right. But it's up right now. You can go to uh, wzronline.com slash photos, yeah. wzronline.com slash photos, and uh, it's up. Boom. Put the gallery up just about an hour or two ago. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff, man. It is uh, It is pretty Chat cool room's stuff. live on and I'm popping at WZROnline.com. Chris, chat. Uh, Chris, and in the chat. Chris222, if you've got the, uh, the pre-show well, script from Albany. Well, read what he said. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he's, uh, uh, Chris222 says, Ryan, I have the pre-show script from Albany. Same thing on the ground. Yeah, for Raw, yeah. What? what? So these people are just finding them. 
Maybe there's, after the show, like, oh, fucking... Yeah, but you would think there's got to be some sort of, hey, don't drop your script. I mean, where... It, after the show, it's already over. But is it happening on purpose? Do you think somebody is possibly it doing this pretty close? It's for this to happen this many times, this often. Yeah, it's almost like somebody's dropping it on purpose in hopes of leaking this out to the media and getting it up the, online. So what's pe- the advantage, of, what's a the show, advantage? of a script so, after the show already airs? Well, just to show people... How scripted and yeah. how things work in WWE. Well, no, I know it's, it's not a good thing. Even thing. after the show, it's not a good thing for. The, it's not like WWE's like, oh, who cares? The show's already over because, like you said, it reveals how they do what they do a lot, and it's like a magician showing you how he does his tricks. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. But uh, I agree with you with that it's happened pretty it's frequently. It's all right. Recently, yeah. It's not like oh, there's been like six or seven examples, and that's right. frequent. No, it's like there's been like three or four examples in the last month. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, there's a pay per view script that came out. There's a couple raw scripts. I there was a, a to do list that came out that WWE had. I don't or, think it's coincidental, man. Yeah. I, I I think there may be a they may maybe a rat. They got there a weasel. Be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, a snake. Sh- send that to me though. Uh, Webmaster Pro Wrestling Scoops dot com if you can, man, or if you'd be willing to, man. Webmaster Pro Wrestling Scoops dot com. We're gonna put that up on the website if you do send it. We'll give you some credit if you got a website or Twitter or Facebook, it's something, any, we'll anything it. you want plugged. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll put it right above there. the script. The following is for, and to see more, click below. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was a stressful day. Yeah. Stressful He's day. pissing all about inside joke. Anyways, we got uh, a <laughs> lot of chat room. Some staff members. Sometimes things don't go great. You know, there's you in, in, in the pro wrestling world, there's a lot of politics the behind the scenes. No, oh, in, in the pro real wrestling, wrestling. In when backstage at Raw and house shows and SmackDown and television tapings, there's a lot of politics that go on inside the business. We're going to talk about that with Triple H coming up here in a minute with Payback. There's only one guy left, right? Everybody had been in a little. Oh, I have a different opinion. For evolution. Uh, and I almost, I, I actually got it sitting on my desktop right now to write a column about it. Convince me otherwise, man. I got a whole column set up that's it. I'll give you the title of it for now. That's it. There was one guy left Here it is. standing. Triple H haters, give the man his props. That's the name of the column. Right. And it's that's about how he's we're going to get into it, bro. WrestleMania, he jobbed. Right. Uh, uh, what was the last pay-per-view? Extreme Rules, he job. Hey, babe, he's done three pay-per-view jobs in a row. I'll give you that. When's the last time you could say that about Triple H? He I'll jobbed at Mania, and then twice after. I'll give you that. He guys, did, he doing did, his thing to get people over, new he guys. Did, he did take the pin, but he's also a part-time worker. Batista, we know, is Even, leaving. Yeah. Okay, Randy Orton's a full-time guy. If I... I'm just saying, Randy Orton should have been the final Evolution member standing. Not if you're going to Roman Reigns versus Triple H at SummerSlam. Then Triple H needs to be the top guy in that clique. Because if you're going to branch off in the big singles match you're doing, because Roman Reigns, Triple H, not Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, then Triple H needs to be kept the strongest going into SummerSlam. You may be able to convince me when we get into it uh, with Payback. All right, we'll we'll see what happens. (laughs) All right, we've got our predictions right here as well. Um... That we did it this past Tuesday. Oh, so the we'll drinking uh, game is getting started in the uh, chat. Right? Yeah, we're about to do the plugs here. I think it starts when we do the plugs. We just did like a that, dot right? com or something because everybody said, "Oh, there we go." Oh, right. no, they were expecting it, and we didn't do it. All right, here the we fool. go. So let's get these plugs out of the way. Then we got about thirty-five minutes to get through WWE Payback Monday Night Raw. Probably finish up Monday Night Raw in our numero dos. We're taking your live Fuck. phone calls. Vince Russo was supposed to be here this week, but uh, we're still Fuck. working on. An exact day. <laughs> Did you already look at him? <laughs> no, but I can do oh. my reaction. <laughs> um, so oh, man. That'll be... Uh, Not only did I do run, bad, you, you did me? good. Two in a row for me? Yeah. All right, no doubt. All right, so here we go. Um, we Fuck. have our live chat room. I'm gonna are, you fuck, so much are you shit. fucking with no. me? No. All right. I'm going to have to listen to a bunch <laughs> of shit. WZROnline.com Motherfucking dot com Slash chat WZROnline.com Slash chat Get in there Lots and lots of people in there As always tonight The official home of WZRTV Tuesdays WZROnline.com We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well Go to Facebook.com Slash WZRArmy Go to YouTube.com Slash WZRArchive We're on Twitter as well All you gotta do is go to WZROnline.com Top navigation bar, social media tab. It's got a drop down box. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZROnline.com, the official home of WZRTV Tuesdays. Woo! 
trying to see if I can hold my breath the whole time you did the, like, alright, from the time he starts the plugs, hold your breath. And don't exhale and start breathing again until he's done. Couldn't do it. But no, I said we I should. I try to get through it without stuttering. Yeah. Well, thing. we should put notes underneath these, like my explanation for why, because I'm sure right. I had a good read. Right. Oh, we'll get into it later, man. <laughs> this is bullshit. All right, here we go. Um, so, let's get into it, man. WWE Payback from this past Sunday night. Get to our live chat room. Lots and lots of people. Well, what do you think of uh, Charlotte and uh, Natalia at TakeOver? We talked about Zane night. and Tyler Breeze. You know what? By the way, Tyler Breeze is the most douchey. I like it. I have ever seen I like in it, my man. life. It's so douchey. I like it. Oh my god, That's it's the point of the Why game? do you like Robbie E and Tyler Breeze and all these fucking... I almost said a bad word right there. You know why? And it wasn't fucking, it was another F word. Why do you like all those kind of characters? What, you know what, why? What, 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 what is it's this? It's not that I... It's, it's not that I like selfies and shit. It's not that I like the character in general. It's, yeah. it's the fact that... I see a guy like Robbie E, and I see a guy like Tyler Breeze, and I see them portraying that gimmick. Uh And if they can portray a gimmick as well as they do, and both of them do it very, very well... I'll give you that. If if I was stuck with that gimmick, that they do it about as good as it could be done. They do it about as good as it could be done. That's what you're giving on pay. Like, all right, here here you go. Here, Mr. Tyler Breeze, here's your gimmick. And he looks at it and says, oh, fuck. But then he goes out and does what we see. Then he's making the most out of what they give him. That's what they're given. Yeah. That's what they're given. So I see potential. If you're given that gimmick and you can portray it, you can go out there and do it as good as you do it. I think if given another gimmick, but you're you're going to be a star. Yes. But you're going to be a star. My statement just now was that's the most douchiest gimmick. And now I'm not saying the guy doing the gimmick is not talented and is great at getting the most out of a douchey gimmick. Right. It's still a douchey gimmick. What? Come on. The, the, you know what the test is? It's a you know douche. what the test is? What? If you have friends over that don't watch wrestling. Right. And Tyler Breeze comes on your TV. Are you going to sit there like, oh, God, this is so fucking embarrassing. You're I'm going like, to sit there like, oh, God, this is yeah, so embarrassing. That's a douchey but character. It gives you douche chills in front of your listen, friends. Listen, right now, in 2014, there's a whole selfie craze. Everybody takes a it selfie. It should be a right? girl. You take your it. cell phone. So you take reality and you mix it in with a gimmick. And I get that half and, the thing is like, well, that's the point. It should be a girl doing. It should be a girl doing it. But we're gonna have a guy do it, and he's gonna get over as a heel because he's doing something that a girl should be doing. I get that. It's still douchey, no matter how you explain it's it. It's douchey. It's, it's douchey, no doubt. But you're taking something that is popular in reality yeah. right now. Everybody taking selfies. Pop culture, your point. Now man. the new thing is they've got these guys. Uh, somebody in San Francisco. He's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they got these guys. There's a guy in San Francisco, and he's he's opened up a Twitter account, and he says, "Hey, I'm putting uh." I'm putting money here, and he gives hints and clues of where the money is, and then they've got to go, and they you've got to find the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the new thing. I think it's cool. I think it's. So when do we have a character doing that? Millionaires and billionaires planting money. I don't think they do it on W. Is that the thing we saw about where the guy? No, that wasn't where the guy bought a couch or something and found like somebody's life savings. No, they found like twenty thousand dollars and they returned it. Yeah, something. Could you imagine? Know. Could you imagine a uh, fucking find twenty thousand dollars on a couch that you buy and you say, "Hey, this I think this belongs to they, you." Fuck they, you, that's mine. They bought that couch. I'm going on a, vacation. They bought the couch at a thrift store. Really? So for you get it for twenty dollars like, for twenty dollars, and they came home and they found twenty grand. In half my fucking clothes that I used to wear it was from a thrift store. I'm a cheap son of a bitch. I'm a thrifty son of a bitch. Who cares, dude? People Nobody like. Nobody cares. Like, Walmart and everything else, you wear a fucking t-shirt. You know who Go cares? shop at Walmart. Nobody Celebrities cares. and That's girls. They need right. to have the name brand, the name generic, uh, the, uh, the name brand, not the generic, the real name thing. I can give two fucks. If it's comfortable and it doesn't look atrocious, I'll wear it. Like, yeah. look at this piece of shit I'm wearing right now. Well, you know I mean? that's I'll not a Walmart brand. Uh, just it's that actually, actually a good brand. Uh, it's a nice it's t-shirt. A it's comfortable. It fits well. It's hey, you know what that text was? What? So, I was going to have my sister pick us up another 12-pack because we're almost out. Yeah. She doesn't have enough money for the 12-pack. Are you kidding me? So, I've got to go out there and get my card. Okay. Okay. She's so on her way right here right I now? I believe she's here. Go do it. So, you want to start payback? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, actually, I'll, I'll save payback. I wanted to talk a little bit. 
We got to talk about the pre-show. The pre-show too, but I'll save that for when you get back. I wanted to talk a little bit about the NXT match when I brought up with them between Charlotte and Natalia. I thought that was a fucking work of art. Let me get the chat room up so I can talk to you guys while he's doing this. Where does he keep it? Sorry, guys. All right, yeah. The uh, let me know in the chat room. WZRonline.com slash chat. He's already back. Uh, what you thought of the women's championship match? It was the finals of a tournament that they held across. A bunch of uh, television tapings, right? Uh, Charlotte and Natalia, right. That right. was the finals of a tournament. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So, the, and, and the big hook was, uh, promotional hook <coughs> was, they had Ric Flair in Charlotte's corner. Of course, Ric Flair is Charlotte's father. Mm -hmm. uh, and they had Bret Hart in Natalia's corner. And, of course, Bret Hart is Natalia's uncle. Mm -hmm. uh, our father's Jim the Knight, Anvil Nightheart. And uh, Anvil married one of Bret's sisters or something like that. So, uh... There's family ties there, the legends, and Brett and Flair had their history, so it's kind of a nice dynamic, cool dynamic. Well, you know and what? The match itself turned out to be a, like I said, when you walked out of the room, a fucking work of art. It was awesome. It was right? amazing. And then, not, matches, just the, not just the physicality of the match, uh -huh. the whole match, like before, you know, the hype, the video packages, the fact that Flair and Brett were there, and yeah. then the after the match stuff mm -hmm. where Flair's crying. Flair got really emotional, yeah. man. Flair actually came out the following day and called that one of, if not the best moment of his entire career. Yeah. And this is Ric Flair we're talking about. Well, listen, um, you have to say that. It's, kid, it's his daughter, obviously. Does he really rank you know that with him beating right. fucking Harley and Sarkay? And the no. steamboat matches and everything yeah, else. Of course. Right? But, uh, so, so yeah, that was a really good match. But it felt like Italian. a moment. It really it felt special when it, you saw it. You I know. agree. It was I really agree. cool. But, yeah, that NXT fun. show, if you haven't seen it, if you have the WWE Network, you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you don't, really download it somewhere. Stuff. You should, you should really go stuff. out of your way to watch it. All right, so we got to uh, get through this fairly quick. you got about a half Ooh. hour. I want to get through at least half of uh, Monday Night Raw as well. So we kicked it off with the pre-show. Second pre-show in a row, in, in a row, right? Extreme Rules. They did this match. It was uh, WLC, WLC. Yeah. right? Um, and now we're gonna have. Uh, do you think they'll do like a? Uh, uh, well, they've already done WLC or uh, like a midget in the bank. Something. Yeah, midget in the bank. Um, I'm saying midget. They got oh, all yeah, angles. Well, well, they said uh, little people in the bank match or something like mini that. Mini in the bank. Problem. Or? Problem with that is there's only two. Midgets or little people in WWE. So, what? And not only that, but if you're going to do a, a something in the bank, there's got to be a title shot. I was just trying to go off the name of the show that it would be on. I guess you could do just a mini ladder match. I, I guess, but if they were going to, if, if I mean, Money in the Bank, if they're going to do a Money in the Bank match or a Midget in the Bank match, something like that, yeah. the winner goes on to get a title shot. Well, that's so the Money in the who, Bank. If they're they doing that, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Unless they want to bring a bunch of midgets in and do a midget, you know. I say they don't do the same fucking pre-show match three shows in a row. I just, I hope they don't. I don't oh my know. God. But anyway, so I mean, we had... They kept uh, it going on Raw, which we'll get into. So we, I mean, we both said Hornswoggle, or... Torito. We both said that El Torito yeah. was going to win. He wasn't losing And Hornswoggle match. was going to get his head yeah. shaved. Now... So we get the match, and the match was really good once again. It was again. exactly what I thought it was going to be. It was going to be very fun, right? Just like WLC. I thought WLC was a bl like a blast. It was just really fun to watch. I thought the same right. about this match. Hornswoggle did numerous dive spots, man. He tried. Uh, he tried. Mm. But uh, so after it was over, right? El Torito winds up getting the win, and you know El Torito still didn't have his tail. Tail still gone. I didn't even notice that. Didn't right. have surgery or anything to reattach yeah. it. Yeah, there was nothing like that. We do like a uh, uh, Eeyore and just tape it on. You yeah, know, we did that. <laughs> we something to like that. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so after the match is over, right? They take out the razors. This was the worst. Shave job I've ever seen. It was uh, almost like, do you know how to use a razor? Okay, I didn't know if you meant Orange Swaggle sell job for the shaver, or yeah, the fact that they just cut his hair awfully bad. You know what the fuck they're doing? And then and was I seen that on Raw when he took his wig off? He still had his half shaved. Uh, he's they shaved off the top. The poor yeah, guy. He's got to walk around in public like that, man. I think they're doing it on purpose. Just of to course rip. they're doing. They're ribbing him, man. He's got to go. Shaving his head's one thing. The fact right. that they have him keep it the way you just described. Right. You think that's a fucking rib? No. You they're think gonna make it's him, a rib. They're gonna make him walk. Of through. course it's a rib. They're gonna make him walk through airports and everything. Not only else. is he a midget, uh, but he's got this fucking weird ass hair. Do yeah, or I know. little person. I'm sorry, dwarf, whatever. But yeah, my god. Poor guy, man. Yeah, Fun match, guy, though, yeah. and, uh, and ended, like you said, with Horny getting his head shaved. So, oh, what happened here? And that led us into the pay-per-view. And, and then the, uh, the pay-per-view, they kicked it off yeah. with what? First match was the uh, United States Championship match between Sheamus 
and Cesaro, and this is where I don't want to talk anymore. You don't want to talk anymore? Why? Look it at was your envelope. A, it was a good opener. Um, oh, I don't have it in order here. Oops. Okay, well, well we both got El Torito, right? right? Yeah. All right, so that's good. Did you get to so it yet? Uh, uh, Boone picked Cesaro. Clarkster picked the Sheamus. Good opener. Sheamus retained the United States title at WWE Payback. Hello? Hello? Yeah, he retained Hello? the title at Payback, man. <laughs> Big fucking deal. All right, so we got one match into the pay-per-view, and I'm already 0 for 1. Is that You're already game? 0 for 1. Go All ahead, right, yeah. I payback. thought they can't have Cesaro. If they just beat him in the finals of the IC tournament at Extreme Rules, they're not having him lose two title matches in a row. Right. They're trying to give the guy a push. Not only did they do that, they beat him clean. They didn't how, even screw him. How about the Chicago crowd, too? About what? Chicago crowd on Sunday night. It was awesome. They were uh, they were cheering. Uh, oh, payback. I'm picturing Raw. Okay. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. They were cheering Sheamus. They were booing Cesaro. They had him uh, defeat Cesaro clean. Now, well, they had Hayman right. come out and cut a promo before the match, and he referenced Punk. He did. I he said, know. What did he say? He said, uh, he said that Punk's, or he's not here tonight. He's, he's down the road at the United Center watching the NHL game or something like that. Watching man. the Blackhawks right. get their streak broken, just like my client, Brock Lesnar, broke and the streak. And the Blackhawks yeah. wound up losing. And he was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, that was cool that he mentioned them. They tried to, uh, listen, you and tried Stephanie to Stephanie mentioned them later in the show, too. Right, you try to quell the chance right off the bat. No, Stephanie didn't mention his she name. She said, you, well, what'd she say? Daniel Bryan, you want to quit just like CM Punk? Or he did, I guess. Then. Just like he did? Or okay, just whatever, like but she referenced him too. But they tried it right off the bat. They knew that, listen, they're in Chicago, there's going to be CM Punk chants all night long, right? There wasn't that many. There wasn't that many, but I think the fact that, and that's why they had Paul Heyman in that opening promo they come out. Off that they, one week. That's true. They, where they he sat in the style and it came out to his music. It worked. But, uh, so, so anyways, they, they, right off the bat, they said, he's not here tonight, he walked out, and That's he's right. I didn't think of that. The center. first thing the show opens with is Amy saying, he's not here. He's yeah. not here. Because so he, 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 shut he, him up right he away. encouraged the people to chance CM Punk, because he says, I'm going to introduce to you a Paul Heyman yeah, right. guy. <laughs> right, Everybody right. immediately in Chicago is going to think. Everybody's thinking CM Punk. CM Punk. Paul, Paul Heyman guy. So they right. start chanting, and he says, oh, oh. Yeah, well, he's not here tonight. Yeah. He's over at the United <laughs> Center watching the Blackhawks lose. He was awesome. He was Heyman great. Was great. And it was a good way to shut the crowd up. All right, we addressed it once. Now shut up. Bring it up. Talk. Get it out of the way. And move on with exactly. the show. Exactly. Speaking of moving on with the show, we had Cody Rhodes and Goldust against Rybaxel, Ryback, and Curtis Axel. They did an interesting angle here. They kept it fairly short. I'm talking about the angle after yeah. the match I thought was interesting. Angle after the match, yeah. uh, Cody wound up taking the pin, right? Correct. Cody wound up getting pinned. And then uh, they've been teasing tension here for the past couple of weeks between the two. And uh, Cody grabs a microphone and says... Bro, very, he's very somber voice for him. He says, "Bro, I'm sorry, but you need a better tag team. You partner. deserve a better partner. You than deserve me, a man. better partner than me, or something like that." And then we found out that last night on on Raw, Ray, or Sin Cara, you know where they're going. That's right. Well, I think what's going to happen. It I think I figured it out. Let me hear. All right, this is this is my feeling. Okay, okay. so Cody is going to pick a new opponent for Goldust week after week partner. after week. A, a new partner. Yeah. And Goldust is going to continue to lose. Yes. Okay? Correct. So Cody is going to come back out you and got say, it. And Cody's going to come back out and say, well, I wasn't the weakest link. Yeah. You're the weakest link. And Goldust is going to be like, what the fuck? And then that's going to lead to a feud between Cody and Goldust. You got it. Yeah. That's exactly Thank what they're doing. I guarantee you that's what they're doing. They're gonna, he's going to come out and say, you know what? I guess I wasn't the wing link after all. Right. You just suck. And he, you you know, suck. Beat exactly. his ass. <laughs> he'll turn. Beat him down. Yeah. And then you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one match between. But they're going to play that out for a and couple of if they of were going to do that, they really should have did it at Mania. But I know. Whatever. I agree. You know? I agree. So we had, uh, so Cody and Goldust wound up losing yeah. here. We got that one we right, right. Oh, we didn't even uh, know that one. Yeah, yeah, we didn't yeah. know that one. You're right. You're right. They announced that match and they announced, uh, three. They announced three matches. Bo Dallas and Kofi Kingston, the night of the show. Uh, there was During the pre-show. Well, there was three more. they announced that we didn't have predictions for, but there were two they announced 
on the pre-show on the show. Right. Yeah. Right. On the pre-show. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Two matches added the night during. Not two matches added the night of the show. Two matches added during the show. During the show. Yeah. Right. Shows how much they they cared about. Well, this show was a one. I mean, with Daniel Bryan out being injured and and. You know, it was a one match show yeah. with the Shield and Evolution. You know? Well, two if you can't see in a while. Well, that's true. Standing. That's true. I would throw that in there. What you think about Rusev and Biggie? It was Perfect. your normal Rusev that match. Should have been right? Right? The thing that obviously everybody's going to remember when you think back of that match was Biggie uh, spearing him through the thing. Yes. I mean, yes. he's done that a few times, but to see those two big fuckers going like that, like that was just. I tell you what, Biggie, freaky, man. Biggie is an agile guy, man. Very I athletic. Mean, he, very athletic. For a size? Absolutely. Fuck, forget about right? it. Yeah. Right. I mean, he came through the middle rope, spear to the outside. Yeah. I've wow. seen him do that a few wow. times, but just Rusev's so you? big. Yeah, he's done it a few times. Hmm. Uh, yeah. But Rusev's so big, you just figure, if he, even if, 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 because like we talked about it one week, because what happens is uh, he could go through and then plant his arm wrong, pop his up, like the same way you I did know. to Rob. Right. Especially Absolutely. when you have a big fucker like Rusev, and if you guys like get turned a little bit, and uh-huh. Rusev's weight comes down on your arm wrong, or your leg wrong, right. or, you know, there's so many things that could go wrong. So many things. It didn't though, and then Rusev ended up squashing him. We both uh, picked uh, Rusev there. Yeah, and he didn't do. I was wondering. I wrote a column, you know, previewing the show, and I'm like, wow. So he's gonna he's fighting Big E. This is like an actual somewhat of a mid card name. He can't just squash him. I know. So we're gonna see him sell a little bit. They and kept he, it short. They kept it very short and appropriate uh, right. lengthwise, and that was the big spot Big E had, and mm-hmm. the rest was pretty much yeah Rusev squash. That was so pretty it was much it. Pretty much did what they needed. But to it do. didn't look like a squash, like you said, man, because they kept it short. They kept it short. It was just a Big very e dominant victory. Time. Yeah, right. right. We had uh, Kofi Kingston and Bo Dallas, another one that uh, we didn't know didn't was going to really happen, like you said. Yeah. Oh, you're right. With um, As soon as the uh, the bell rang, Kane uh, wound up coming out, and yeah. uh, Bo Dallas jumped out of the ring. Kane uh, destroyed Kofi. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, Dallas came back in and said that, uh, don't worry, you'll be back on your feet in no time. All you got to do. All you got to do is believe. Is believe. Is believe. We had, uh, for the IC title, we had uh, Bad News Barrett against Rob Van Dam. Love that Bad News Barrett. I'm afraid I've got some bad. The Can I have popped. some decorum, please? They were in Chicago. Crowd popped huge. He's over. Of course. Oh, he's, he's over, over like Rob. Right. And that's a perfect example where you talked about earlier. I forget who we were talking about. Oh, uh, Tyler Breeze. Were you say if they, right. and Robbie, if you could take a shit character and make it good, mm-hmm. imagine if they gave you a good character. Absolutely. We've seen dollar signs in Wade Barrett since the NXT day, the Nexus days, I should say. Mm-hmm. Um, WWE. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't. When, I, I didn't like Wade Barrett at first, but I love this new gimmick. Yeah. Well, that's that. where a lot of people jumped on board. Whereas right. back then, at least, a lot of the fans saw like this guy's gonna be something one day. You said you didn't. A lot of fans didn't too. Right. WWE though saw yo this guy's gonna be somebody, but he never turned into be somebody. Then he gets injured, comes back. They give him this shit gimmick, mm-hmm. and he still gets over like Rover. Right. So now when. It, they give him something legit or make that character more legit, which is what they're doing now. Right. He's not a goofball, I'm going to pop up and give bad news and that'll be my shtick. Right. No, he's just a fucking badass son of a bitch, you know, champion now yeah. that uh, yeah. just happens to have a gimmick. You know? We had uh, Barrett uh, wound up hitting the uh, the bull hammer here for the win. RBD they call it the bad news bull hammer elbow bad news now. Bull hammer. All right. Bad news bull hammer uh, elbow, yeah. Uh, RVD, uh, once again, God, it seems like every time somebody goes in the ring with RVD, I mean, listen, he's, the, the, the style that he works is a style that injures a lot of That's people. That's always been the background, yeah. And right. Triple H would use it reportedly, and that Against was going to be him. part of my column. I was going to put over his reputation and say he held guys like Jericho, Edge, RVD, Booker T, he held those guys down mm-hmm. to keep himself up. You know, but RVD, the main thing with RVD that he would use to keep him down was that, yo, he hurts people. Yeah, I remember the one right. time, I think it was an Elimination Chamber match, Van Dam jumped off one of the chambers and did something and landed right on his throat. Mm. Triple H's trachea or his fucking, uh, whatever right. his throat is called, and he almost crushed his uh, windpipe, basically. Could have killed him. Stop saying it. Could have killed yeah, him. Yeah, right. could have killed right. him. Um, and he did it to uh, uh, Bad News Barrett, although the black guy. I don't know if they had makeup on it or, or what last. I don't think they would have. No, that was a real shiner. The ones that had makeup were Triple H and uh, the Evolution guys. Right. right. Triple H had the well, big Well, Barrett didn't look that bad, though. No. Last night. His was legit. Right. 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 Whereas right. the Evolution guys had makeup put on to make it look like they were put through right. hell, you know. 
So uh, bull hammer for the uh, for the win here. Uh, Wayne Barrett. Yeah. How about the Daniel Bryan decision? All right, here's the deal. Uh, so we'll just run it down in in quick terms for you. Uh, Stephanie McMahon comes out tonight's the night. Today's yeah, they put uh, off two weeks. Here's where we get our answer. D Day, right? Today's yeah. D Day. Uh, Daniel Bryan, come out here. Surrender your title, give me your title, and let's move on. If you don't, I'm going to fire your wife, Brie. They go back and forth, right? And everything comes down to Brie says, or Daniel says, you know, payback's a, what's the word? Brie? Bitch. Yeah. And Brie and, says and bitch. Brie says she had called her a bitch a few weeks ago. Right. Uh, so, he goes to give her the titles. Mm -hmm. Brie jumps in front of him. Says no, 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 no! You're not doing that. You work too hard, and Stephanie, you can't fire me because I quit. Because I quit. And she bitch, bitch smacks her, and then Stephanie pisses her pants and runs to the back. I listen. I have don't give seen, me that shadow bullshit because I saw enough pictures. And I there have ain't seen, no fucking shadow. I have seen enough photos, and there are people out there. Are you gonna be the shadow asshole? I'm not. Okay, because I've not. had many people give me the shadow theory, and I said, guys. I've seen like twenty different pictures. It's there are photos of your there. and or she got excited. There are photos know, but on the front the dress was tight. On the front of her as well, where there's a spot. Not just on the back running down her ass. There's a couple spots on the front. So there are people that say it was a shadow, this, that, and the it other. It wasn't thing. a shadow. Believe what you want, but there are a lot of photos out there and a dress. Even if it was marked that way, or even if it was a shadow, there's not spots. It was spotty in different areas. So I'm going to say that she pissed her pants. And listen. I don't need to. You get bit slapped in the face, right? It might scare a little piss out of you. It might scare Especially the piss. Especially if you got a pee rubat and you're holding it, and like all of a sudden like you're not expecting the slap yet. Even if you're expecting it, maybe not that exact second, you know what I mean? Just the shockness of, uh, you know, and you... Dribble a little piss in your fucking right, pants. Right, you know? right. A lot of people are saying, no, she didn't pee her pants, this, that, and the other thing. I'm sticking by with what I believe. I don't need to get, I, I, don't, need to I don't need to I don't need to qualify it like you just did. I saw 20 pictures, 20 different pictures. She pissed herself. She pissed herself. Period. She pissed herself. Period. Some of you may disagree, but she pissed herself. I, I pissed herself. I'll put the pictures up on dubzronline.com. We should tell me. all the photos. I thought you did. I, I haven't done that. You came in and told me something. About it. You're putting it up right now, the photos, during the pay per view. No, I put up one photo oh, on the website. You told me I'm putting it up now. Or Somebody something. tweeted a photo and said she, she pissed Wait, her pants. You're the one who told me. I said, I, I, because I either heard it on Facebook or one of the comments on my play by play post I was doing. I, I, somebody said something about, did she piss herself? And when you came in and told me, I'm like, I heard that somewhere. I didn't remember where, and you had confirmed it for me. So, and then when I saw all the pictures, she pissed herself. She pissed herself? She pissed herself. She pissed herself. You know. All right. Or she got right. excited. Maybe so, she likes fucking getting slapped around by chicks. Right. So Brie, Brie quits. Brie is uh, done. Now, let me ask you. There's been rumors, and we know, I mean, on Total Divas, Brie and uh, Daniel have been very open about talking about starting a family. Um, I heard this. Do yeah. you think, and we'll find out here in the next couple of weeks. No. They wrote Brie off television. Mm -hmm. uh, that was obvious. She wasn't on Raw last night. She quit. So she is going to be taking a break. There is no reason for Brie to take a break. She's on Total Divas. Uh, yeah, she's not injured. Family. She's not injured. She's trying to start a family. Could she be pregnant? And I'm only saying maybe a couple of weeks pregnant. Not three, four months pregnant. They wouldn't have had her in there working. Shoot. Could she have found out very recently... Very recently, within the last couple of weeks, that I'm pregnant. I say no because, A, Total Divas is over, the, the season that you just mentioned. So it's not like, all oh, she got to stay active for okay. these reasons. Plus, it's taped long in advance. It doesn't matter if it's still going. It's already in the can. Secondly, with WWE, if she's pregnant, and that's why they just wrote her off TV, if it would have to be brand new to the pregnancy, like you said. They wouldn't have her competing. Very her. new. Very so you're looking at nine months, then the maternity leave after you have the kid, another two, three months. You're looking at a full year they're going to have her off TV? No. Well, that she's, they're working on starting a family, so whether it happens now or whether it happens next year, she's going to be off TV for a year, a year and a half when she has a baby. So I think we would whether know. Whether it happens, 
Well, if they... I think we would have caught wind if, if they... I mean, maybe maybe people don't know yet. Maybe, you know, a lot of times... A we lot would of know, times, like, yo, the, the Bella Twin Act is going to be split up for a little while. Let me say something. Okay. A, a lot of times with women who get pregnant, they don't announce it until they're about three or four months yeah. in. Because so know something, it's start showing. something could go wrong. Well, it's not bad, only that. Bad luck, yeah. Something could go wrong. It's bad luck. And then they start showing, and they've got to be open about mm-hmm. it. But I'm thinking there's a reason why they wrote Brio on TV. Of course, we know that... Dana Bryan Listen, thing. It's certainly that possible. Was, I just I don't, I don't know. Think, I, don't think so. I, I I'll I'll go out on a limb here and I'll say within the next month or two, I think we're gonna find out that Brie Bell is pregnant. But I, that's pure speculation. Right. I don't know. I just I, I disagree. But I, I have I have no uh, evidence to support why I disagree. I just it's just a hunch. All right. I just we'll see what happens in yeah. in a month or two. That's just pure speculation on my part. But I think that she may be pregnant. That's all. All right, uh, so here we go. Back to WWE Payback. Eight minutes to go before the break. We didn't even oh, start yeah. on Raw fucking night. All right, we had uh, John Cena and Bray Wyatt in a last man standing match. I got to say, man, people Son of talk bitch. about John Cena all the time. Cena sucks, this, that, and the other thing. Every time. Equally as Cena much. Is equally on as pay-per-view. much before you get to the big crescendo that you're building up to right now. Just as no, much as... not anything big. Well, no, you're building up to the fact that it was good. Just, just like people say, Cena sucks. But look, all right. the, the the talk of Bray Wyatt, he's great promo. Huh? He's not there yet in the ring. All right. He can have a quick match. This and that. He can't do a twenty minute pay per view match yet. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah. That match was awesome. They tore. I mean, they had a lot of toys to play with to make it awesome. Right. You Last know. man standing match. Um, they gave it yeah, they had a lot of time and, and interference um, and all these different things that can. Right. Even right. if you're not a great worker, if you put enough, if if you let Pat Patterson really, you know, and I'm not saying I don't think Patterson does those uh, match outcomes anymore, does the plan the, the the layout of the match anymore. I don't think Patterson does it anymore. Yeah, well, it's different agents that book yeah, the yeah, they're uh, assigned the different matches. matches. But uh, like that, either right? way, you let a good agent tell you, all right, we got last man saying we can use weapons, we can use interference, we can inside the ring, outside the ring, arena. There's enough things you can do that even if you're not a good worker, it's still going to be a good match. But my point is, even if you give the worst two wrestlers in history mm-hmm. the layout that they gave them for that match, you're doing this, 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 and this. It's still going to be good. It wasn't. It wouldn't be as good as it was because those two rose to the occasion and right. made it better than it even. I agree. Even if it was guaranteed they, to be good based on the layout of the match, mm-hmm. you're going to do this weapon spot, this run in is going to happen. This it's going to be good, even if you suck, because those two were able to make it even better mm-hmm. it came off as like a really great match it was an they awesome did their part match, too man. i like the idea where uh the entire wyatt family came out right and even the announcers had said what's the deal this is a little bit unfair yeah john cena against three members of the wyatts pretty much so they win. did it the cage match too though every time he would so, try to escape the cage they'd stop him Right. And the only reason, and that's where. But they I had what, what I'm getting at. They, they had the Usos come out to kind of even the yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rowan and uh, Harper were on the outside for Wyatt, and then you had the Usos who kind of came out and defended uh, John Cena, yeah. or was there for were there for backup, and they got involved at certain points. I just didn't like well. that Cena had to win a WrestleMania. That was so wrong. It should have been Wyatt that won a WrestleMania. Uh, Wyatt should have gone over at WrestleMania. Absolutely. Yep. At Extreme Rules, Cena only let Wyatt win on the thing that, all right, you guys are going to interfere 1,200 times and stop me from winning. And then at the very end, the only way you're going to win is they're going to have this little freaky kid sing and scare me, right. and you're going to walk out the cage. That's not even letting somebody win, really. He never really beat John Cena. Right. Lost to him at Mania, had the bullshittiest win over him at Extreme Rules, and then lost again mm-hmm. at Pay. But like, Cena... Right now, Super Cena right shit, man. Super Cena, man. And I can People see from his point time. of view, you're like, yo, you want me to go down a step from the main event, title mm-hmm. picture, this and that, to work with this guy you want me to get over. Right. I'm not going to sit here and job. I'm like, well, all right, if it's one thing, if I'm on the main event, title match, but job in there, you want me to go down a bit and then job at this level? Right. That's true. That's if you're true. Cena, but you're like, what the fuck? I will say this. I'm your guy. Ever, ever since Bray Wyatt's been in the feud with John Cena, I mean, he's been elevated from here way Yeah, he got the rub I regardless. Mean, I mean, his I promo agree. work. and he's He been, feels like a more main event act now. He's been stellar with, I mean, he was given this opportunity to work with WWE's top guy yeah. in John Cena, and he has just gone above and beyond... Um, what I right now where you know he's right. damn near babyface. I mean, they're right. doing things now to try and hey, heal him again. But we we both picked up Barrett, and we got that right. Yeah. Correct. 
Um, you got Cesaro. Uh, I had Cesaro. No, I had I picked Cesaro. Oh, you got that match right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you picked Cesaro and I picked Sheamus, so yeah. I had that one right. Uh, I or you picked Bray to win here. Yeah. And uh, I thought he would do the right thing. I picked John Cena, so boom. Score another one for the Clarkster. I'm going silent now. Page against Alicia Fox for the WWE Divas title. Page one clean here. Um, eh, a little bit iffy on. Uh, I, you know, Alicia Fox. I've been praising her week after week. Alicia Fox is uh, a really good worker, in my opinion. <laughs> she's, uh, she's, yeah, I, she's I good, know. but they're booking I, it all wrong. I thought Paige and Alicia Fox was going to be like one of those they're, matches from NXT Takeover. They, gonna be, they don't want it to be that. They I want know. Paige to barely. They want her to Rick Flair. I know. Get her ass with the whole match. Somehow pull it off in the end, and that's the kind of champion they want her to be. That's not going to get her over that well, I don't think. Right. Maybe right. if they go really long with it, and if this happens for months and months and months, and this bitch still finds a way to win somehow. Right. You know, then maybe. But for the short term. It, it's not going to get her over. Yeah, gonna be like, I don't, she's I don't not like even it. good enough to really kick Alicia Fox's ass. I know. Or Exana's ass. And the fans aren't or, even really behind her right not now. Even, not know? as much as they were when she hey, first debuted. No way. By the way, and we're at the main event right yeah. now, but uh, there's only one match left. We both picked the Shield. Ladies and gentlemen. Two for two. Extreme Rules. Yeah, payback. No. Money in the bank coming up June 29th. In like 10 minutes. Yeah. And what? this guy, yeah, just yeah. a couple of weeks ago, I remember I talking to a window. Vividly recall you on here. You'll never beat me. You'll ne You'll never. You're never gonna beat me. Not only did I beat you four shows in a row, I was undefeated on all four shows. I didn't even even beating you. I didn't lose to myself any because I won. Not only all four shows, every match on all four shows. Now. I've lost two pay-per-views in a row. What's going on here, man? Two pay-per-views in a row. We got money in the bank. You're lucky. To Ryan in, Clark. In the month of uh, June, we've got two WWE <laughs> pay <laughs> We've got two WWE pay-per-views, yeah. right? We've got money in the bank coming up the 29th, and then we've got... Uh, we had payback. Uh, we yeah. just had payback, so... You got another opportunity. I will redeem myself. That. Catch up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's an inside joke we got. All right, evolution. All right, and we've talked before. I, I'll be ahead of you. Like you'll hey, be ahead of me. Hey, catch up, kid. You'll be ahead of me with posting, and you'll say, "Hey, catch up, kid." Meaning, like, get those posts up, or I'll be ahead of you, and I'll say, "Hey, catch up, kid." All right, get the fucking posts up. Evolution and the Shield. We got two minutes before we got to go to the commercial break. We'll come back. We'll run down the high points and the low points of Monday Night Raw from last night. We're taking your rapid fire questions and your live phone calls in our numero dos. Evolution and the Shield elimination style you match. Think? Thought it was a really good match, man. What did you think of the decision to have? You know what I there thought was no was happen for like 25 minutes. What they went and it was about I want to say 10:50 uh, Eastern time. And normally they go off the air at about 10:45 Eastern time, right? They leave about 15, 10, 15 you minutes. Say that, but okay. About 11, about 10:50 10 10 something. When it no, goes, like 10:51, 10:52. It's, uh, it's about. 10.45, 10.50 when they go off the air. Yeah. Well, we're at about 10.50 Eastern Time, right? And there's been no elimination. So, I'm thinking to myself, alright, all three members are going to be eliminated at the oh, same yeah, time. Like, like, uh, yeah. like, Roman Reigns is going to hit a spear on Triple H, and uh, uh, Rollins is going to hit a, something on Randy Orton and Ambrose, and at the same time, one two, three, the ref counts them all, same time, they're all out, and then it makes you say, they can come out the following night on Raw, and they can say, we took all three of you guys out at one time, and, but they didn't do that, no. they didn't do that. Well, they did a version of that, I mean, they beat them back to back to back within like a span of two minutes after right, right. no eliminations for 30 minutes, you know. Right. I thought, and I even mentioned this on the air last week, I thought they were going to... Take out Rollins, take out Ambrose right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Leave Reigns by himself, star-making performance, just like they did with him at Royal Rumble. Right. Just like they did with him at uh, what was it, Survivor Series. 
uh, where, you know, I thought it was going to be one of those where he's going to be the only guy left, and he's going to have to beat all three members of Evolution by himself, mm -hmm. and he's going to do it. And he's gonna I like, like that. I like that I idea. I thought that's what they were going to do. They didn't do it. They went your route. They had them just kick their asses back and forth the whole match, and then at the very end, one, two, three, they just eliminate each guy in a row. Right. Which is why your point earlier about Triple H being the last guy left, like, did it really matter? It was like, he lasted, what, 20 seconds longer than Orton? You know what, it, it, like, it, who cares? it really didn't, because they were all in there at the uh, at the same mm. time. It was just, uh, it was what fitting. What do you think, we gotta at it least... Was fitting that Triple H was the final guy standing yeah. out of all the uh, evolution members. And like I, I said, if they're going with Triple H, Roman Reigns, <clears throat> SummerSlam, then you need to keep, make sure he's the guy that's higher than the other guys. Oh, you're right, you because know, that's going to be a There's got to be a, match, a main right. guy of evolution, because it's two three or two groups of three people where all three are considered equals, you know what I mean? Like, Batista, Orton, and Triple H are all three main eventers. Reigns, Ambrose, and Rollins are all three up-and-comers. We don't know who's breaking out of the pack yet. We got our guesses. Reigns is going to break out of the pack today. But we don't know yet. We haven't seen it. Right. Well, we'll get to that more later. Well, we're going to talk about it with Raw. But, um, yeah. point being that, uh, I forgot my point being. With the point being I didn't cut you off. Although we have to bring up the Batista wearing all the blue shit and uh, oh my god, and they started chanting blue Batista and it trended worldwide all day today. It was number one. Well. I'll yeah. tell you what, Batista opens up Monday Night Raw last night, right? I mean, Evolution comes out yeah. right at the very beginning, so we'll talk about that. We'll go to a commercial break. We'll talk about and there were chants last night for blue Batista uh, at the yes. open of uh, of Raw. So. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We are gonna. Rap, that was WWE Payback, man. Top uh, to bottom, overall, I would say B plus, B plus, B right? B plus. I'm gonna yeah. go B plus for uh, for WWE Payback. Uh, we're gonna come back. Submit rapid fire. You can submit your rapid fire questions by going to Facebook.com/slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com/slash Ryan Clark WZR. We're gonna put that up during the commercial break. Submit your questions, comments, whatever you guys want to talk about, please. Please keep them to one line. Just do a one-line question. I will say that now, and I'll make it very clear, but we'll come back and there will be paragraphs. Oh, oh yeah, there'll be small books we'll have to read. Let me and my boss books. got into it real quick. We are talking about... Please. One line, please. Yes. We were talking about Blue Tista. We were talking about Boo Tista when he first came back. Mm -hmm. I came up with my version of what the new hashtag should be trending worldwide now that he's gone, which is... Bye Tista. Instead of Batista, by Tista. B Y E Tista. Well, it's, that's no better than Blue Tista or Boo Tista. You're listening to WZR TV with Matt Boone and Ryan Clark. We'll be back right after this. I agree that it was about a B plus show. This is a damn um, good show. I thought Raw last night was pretty decent. I mean, I understand it, wasn't. it was the night after a pay per view. Uh, so you're expecting a lot, but it, uh, there were two major angles there you go. that happened, and then you're right. The rest that was going to That was going to be my point. When you turn the TV off at the end of the night, you could say, "Wow, a lot of big shit happened tonight." So from that, yo, sense, yo, so from the piece took <laughs> quits, the shield splits, the, the Rusev, Rusev segment, segment gave, gave me the shits, shits. Yeah. cause I'm Brian Clark. Yeah. Did I? Did I gave him that last line last night on Facebook, by the way. I asked him. I but, uh, he helped me out. He said, yo, I got this and this. Can you give me a thing that rhymes? I needed one more. And I gave him, oh, the Rusev segment gave me shits. He gave me the shits. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the show, when you when you look at it as a whole, like, you could be like, wow, a lot of big shit happened. But if you sat through all three hours, there were definitely more moments where you're like, oh, God, then, like, wow, look at this. All right, all right. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? What's on your mind? What's going on, boys? How you doing, man? I'm all right. Um, been out of town. Got back from work. I've uh, been enjoying my Blackhawks run. That's now over. Um, Blackhawks are done, huh? You and CM Punk got screwed over. What was that? That was Sunday night, right? It was Game Seven, I think, right? I know he lost. Yeah, that man. Yeah. All right, I've been I've uh, missed Sunday and Monday. Uh, that's I actually have two questions. My first one is: Did anything big happen Sunday or last night? Sunday or last night, boy? Why don't Why don't you ever catch Raw or uh, or the pay per view? I'm always on the road, brother. Oh, are you? Are you? No doubt. Nice questions. Uh, he wants to know anything big happen at uh, Payback or uh, or Monday Night Raw. Um, you know what? Last night on Raw, we had uh, two big things happen. Thanks uh, for the call, by the way. The Shield uh, split up. Shield broke up last night on yeah. Raw. We're going to talk about that here in just a couple minutes. And uh, Batista quit. Um, 
basically storyline angle to write him off TV. He's going to be doing some promotional work for uh, Marvel of the Garden yeah, Gardens Garden, of the Galaxy. Garden of the Galaxy. That's yeah, what it's it a is. Marvel movie. We're doing some promotional work for that. So we're going to talk about uh, my yeah. right here in uh, just a couple of minutes. The big question is now. Okay, well Seth Rollins left the Shield. The Shield still exists, I guess, but as a two-man team, Evolution, do they still exist? It looks like Evolution still exists. And now Seth Rollins member, right. replaces Batista. Does anybody right. replace Rollins on the Shield side, I'm or does sure, it just become a two-on-three? I'm three? sure a lot of people are going to ask that. Actually, I think I saw it in the uh, in the rapid fire, so we'll save you know what that, I say? Uh, for a couple minutes. Put probably. a vest on Sami Zayn and say, yo, you're heading up north, brother. Now, there was another guy I had in mind for uh, for the Shield, man. It'll, It'll come like for the me Shield. in there. All right, we'll save it. Carter, you're live on WZR-TV. What's going on? Hello? Yo. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I uh, wanted to know what you guys thought about them going with uh, Seth Rollins instead of uh, Dean Ambrose. That's a great question, too. All right, you know what? Thanks let's, for the call, uh, by the way. Hold, uh, hold off on the phone calls. Let's that's a great question. Do I mean, you want to skip it and, and do it? Yeah, I mean, well, that's you know what? Hours, that's three hours from now we would get to that. I, I, mean, I, I tell you what. Let's, we've I already say start there, work backwards. We've already done payback, so let's do the high points and the low points of Raw. Then we'll open well, it the up for... Right, then we'll open it up for live phone calls, and we'll do yeah. the rapid fire as well. We're not going to go through raw from top to bottom, yeah. like Boone said. We're going to do the high what points. What did you think points. of the decision? If you're going to turn somebody from the shield on the shield, have them jump to evolution. Why would it be Rollins, not Am- Ambrose? Is clearly about, the heel of the. Let's let's tie this all in together. So the opening segment of Monday Night Raw, well, you and the reason already. the reason yeah. why that we're going to have a new member of Evolution is because. Dave Batista quit yeah, WWE. Yeah, we covered that basically. now. I, well, we need to talk. We need to yeah, the high yeah, points yeah. and low points of Raw. So, the opening segment of Monday Night Raw last night was Evolution comes out, and, uh, you know, Batista is there. This is going to be his final appearance on Raw. Yeah. Batista basically says in a promo, and this is kind of interesting, Batista had said... You know, I want, uh, when I came back, I was promised the yeah. WWE. Well, it's worth noting that when they first came out, Triple H started off by saying it's not done yet with the Shield. Not Things are not over. And Batista said, I don't care about the Shield, and then got into that. Right. Yeah. I don't care about the Shield. And, and, and I Batista, was promised. Yeah. Uh, Batista basically said, I was promised when I came back a WWE. One on one. Well, one on one. He got a title shot at Mania, but he lost. But he, he, he was promised a one on one when he won the Rumble. WWE World Heavyweight Title Match, one on one. Uh, like Boone said, by winning the Royal Rumble, he yeah. goes on to WrestleMania and gets that one-on-one title shot. Well, of course, it turned into a three-way, this, that, and the other thing. And uh, we'll be taking your live uh, phone calls in just a couple of minutes, guys. Let us uh, finish up Monday Night Raw, and then we'll open up the phone lines uh, for you guys. But So Batista says, I want Daniel Bryan. I want my WWE tonight. World Heavyweight title shot. I want it tonight. Yeah. Triple H says, I can't do that. Yeah, even if, even I, if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that because Daniel Bryan's injured and can't compete. So there's nothing I can do. So uh, Batista basically says, well, then if I can't have that, yeah. uh, well, I don't no, want... Well, Triple H went on to say that, listen, I know I promised you guys a lot of things, blah, 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 blah. Right now, nobody gets anything right. until we take out the shield. Nobody gets nothing. Right. But I promise you guys, when we do take out the shield... You'll get everything you want. Blah, blah, blah. Triple H also did throw in a dig at Batista well, by saying, if I do give you... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah, if yeah. you do, if you were to face Daniel I couldn't Bryan, give this to you even if I wanted to. But you'd probably lose anyway. But if right? I did, you'd probably choke anyway. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. And he's my bad, my bad. Let's yeah. just calm down. But then he got to down. the thing where, yeah, you're not getting nothing, I promise you, until we get what I want, which is the shield, blah, blah. And he said, well, when we get that, you get everything you want. And Batista right. said, I understand, but I quit. And I quit. Right. Drops the mic, does the... Right, right. <laughs> Very sarcastic The crowd, way. The crowd was chanting, Blue Tista, Blue Tista, when Evolution first came out. And, and they uh, booed him when he first Michael. started speaking. Like, he's... Right. They just hate that guy. I, I wrote a column they the other day. Stand him. You fuck with me forever for because of the title. I, I wrote, boy, yeah. I bet Batista <laughs> didn't expect that. That right. was the name of the title, or the, the, the name of the column. And it was basically like, when he first signed a contract with Return... Right, and was told you're going to win the rumble, you're going to go to main event, you're going to beat Orton for the title, you're going to. You're coming man. back as a babyface, and you've been gone for years. Anytime a big name has been gone for years, when they come back, they're a fucking rock star. Crowd loves it. So, all right, eat some up. He's guaranteed to come back at that rock star because he's been gone for so long. 
As far as creative, he's told, I'm winning the Rumble, I'm going to main event at WrestleMania, I'm winning the title from Orton, I'm going to be the man, the crowd's right. going to love you, you've been gone for so long. Right. Things did not work out that way dude at all. Dude comes back. They won. Boo! Dude, dude they comes fucking back. Hated they him. boo him out of the building as yeah. soon as he comes back, right? Then, granted, he was promised the Royal Rumble win. He got that. They got that. So let's give him that, right? Well, that's because when you, if you remember, when he first came back, he popped that Raw rating. The right. day he came back, it was the biggest it Raw was, rating. I, in, you know what? You're right. From since that happened, there hasn't been a Raw rating that's touched it since. It hasn't even come close. Yeah. Right. Right. So right. they were like, "Oh shit, we got something!" And they they went ahead and let him win the Rumble as planned, even though they booed him. They're like, "Yo, he popped a big rating." Right. All right. So the people in this local building didn't like Batista. Whatever. Big he popped deal. that big, big rating. Big deal. The national audience. Yeah, nationwide. Right. He popped the fucking rating. So right. we're giving his Rumble like we said. We're going with our plan, even though Daniel Bryan gets cheered a lot. Right. He doesn't make ratings like that happen. Right. So, long story short, that and ratings were, power died the second week. They never it became, yo, now this city hates them too. The ratings are back down. Everywhere we go, they hate them. They Guttural hatred. They never planned to make him a heel, man. No. They hadn't planned to make him a heel. No, 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 actually out. they did. That's not true. He was going to come back, win the Rumble, win Mania, win the title, and then turn heel. And then turn heel, but yeah. not until way after WrestleMania. Exactly. Or, or until after he had his baby face, right. I win the title right. run, then go heel. And they did the heel turn before WrestleMania due to the fact that the crowd just wasn't Almost having immediately. It. The crowd wasn't having it. Yeah. There was nothing you could do. You can't have this guy. Well, with Daniel Bryan, I, it's the same thing with Daniel Bryan. Well, kind of the same thing. They didn't want to push Daniel Bryan, but the crowd said, listen, well, this is our guy. We want this dude. And you've got to listen to the crowd. It, it comes to the point where you've got to listen. Eventually, to the crowd. you got to give people what they right. want. I mean, you don't have to. I guess you don't but have to, you but really should. Right, and they it should did be it. obvious. Well, they did it with Daniel Bryan. They finally pushed him. They finally gave him the title. And Batista. If, if you look at the hatred for him. Batista too, it was so interesting because Orton was the first program he was going to have after Rumble. Uh huh. They were going to Mania. It's going to be Orton, the champion, first ever, quote unquote, undisputed unified champion, because they put the titles together, even though Jericho had done it before. Right. First new undisputed uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. It's the first time they called it that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Versus Batista, main event Mania. Orton's a heel, Batista's baby face. You got to remember, Orton had just come off of being the guy that was part of screwing Daniel Bryan, the guy that the fans fucking passionately love. Right. So they hate Orton with a fucking passion. Right. When Batista and Orton are positioned like this, right. fans are cheering Orton, cheering Orton, booing Batista, booing Batista right. and they almost, they damn near turned, they were con contemplating turning Orton babyface at that time, because they're like, yo, maybe that. the fans will buy it, if we, because uh, the plan was like, no, Daniel Bryan and Sheamus, or maybe Daniel Bryan and Triple H, so right. there's no title stuff yet with Daniel Bryan, so it was going to be, alright, well we're doing Batista Orton, right, clearly they hate Batista, and even though we've spent all this time making Orton this shit heel you know, cowardly, he needs the authority to help him, he's the anti-Daniel Bryan, this and that, face of WWE, all that stuff. Spent that whole half, the last half of last year and the beginning part of this year building that up. The second Batista standing across from him, they hate that fucking guy so much Thank already you. that it's like, you know, maybe if we turn Orton uh, face, the match will work right. at Mania and the people will not shit all over it. And then they eventually realize, no, Brian's not in it. They're shitting on him Besi either way. But. Besides that initial, that Raw rating, that pop for the Raw rating when yeah. he first came back on Raw. And he got but booed least, that night. The has been a complete yeah. failure. And he got booed that night. Just because he popped the rating, he was still hated in He the was building. still booed out of the building. It was a curiosity, right? but... Uh, From the night he like returned, him. he was booed out of the building, man. And uh, WWE didn't expect that reaction. Batista didn't expect that reaction. Maybe. And then they went with the whole storyline. You can love They didn't me, want that amazing. reaction? They didn't want that? reaction? They didn't expect that reaction. They didn't reaction. expect that reaction. Right. What was the name of my column? Oh, boy, boy, I bet right. Batista didn't expect oh, that. Right. Come on. I don't think it was, boy. Boy. No, he hey, turned he it into, He <laughs> turned it into, oh, boy. He pretended like I said, oh, boy. Oh, boy, everybody. I didn't say, oh, boy. I said, boy, <laughs> comma. I bet Batista didn't expect that. <laughs> I was fucked one. Exclamation again. point. It was, boy, I bet. It was a good title. Thank you're right. You're right. You're right. And it's the most viewed column in the last, like, fucking two months on email. Oh, is it? It's like 9,000 well, views already. fucking Lisa. Let's yeah. give him a golf clap, yeah. everybody. Let's get a round of applause and a golf clap. It's but no. Time. Fucking, uh, <laughs> normally a column gets two, maybe three, if you're lucky, 1,000 yeah. views. It's got 9,000 views. Ooh. Look at you! People like the color. Look at you! And you know what they got? The, 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 you know, you don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. The cover of the book sells yeah. the book, magazine, etc. Yeah, what you got? What do you got as a cover of a book on a column? Guess what it is? It's called a headline. Yeah? Guess what my headline said? 
Ooh. Boy, I bet Batista didn't expect that. So fuck you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Bo Dallas, Kofi Kingston. What do you think of this? Uh, what do you think of this, this Bo thing. Dallas gimmick, man? You think? Uh, I mean, listen. I've clearly, changed my mind. They're clearly running with it. Um, <clears throat> have you changed I've your changed mind, mind about how similar? Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt look. Look? Yes. Yes, I have a little bit there too. There's there's a resemblance. I don't see it as much not not that I don't see it as much as you. I don't claim that put a beard on Bo Dallas, that's Bray Wyatt. They're not I but they got twins. Some some kind of smile they do. The eyes and there's an eye when they smile, they wrinkle up. There's something there that's very, very the same. Yes, and they've got the 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 square headed face. Yeah, like the flat Japanese thing. Yes. No yeah. offense to Asian listeners out there, but uh, yes, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, where they look like you got hit in the face with a frying right. pan. But listen, what's left. Yeah. so you like the Bo Dallas gimmick? Do Not that I like it. it. Okay, you asked who I think it's going to get over when uh they debuted Dallas and Adam Rose. All you got to do is believe. Believe. <laughs> now, when they first debuted Dallas, it was him and Adam Rose came in at the same time. Right. That My comment it. was Bo Dallas, just based on the vignettes. Mm-hmm. That dude ain't getting over, Bo Dallas. Adam Rose, he was, might get like a cult following, this and that. Now I'm completely reversed. I was right there with I'm you, I'm completely man. reversed. I'm saying Adam Rose is going to become a jerk-off comedy shit character. I think he was always going to be a jerk-off. And I think that Bo Leave shit's going to get so fucking annoying and people are going to hate it so much. You think it's going to be like the Barrett shit? It might get over, man. With the Barrett yeah, stuff? Yeah, people like... I've got some bad news. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe like after all... And people are like, they see, oh, this guy got his... Some bad luck happened to him. Right. Here comes Bo. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody. All you have to do, and the people are eventually going to be like, "Here it comes." You know? What <laughs> yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see maybe that fucking thing getting over. I don't want to guarantee it, but I'm right. saying, let's put it this way: when they first both debuted, I said Adam Rose, maybe Bo Dallas, definitely not. Now I'm saying Bo Dallas, maybe Adam Rose, still maybe, but mm, I doubt it. Ah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, the jury's still out on Adam Rose. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying I, Adam Rose is it's less than what I thought. The theme music's what's gonna make or break him. Yeah, the people love doing that. That oh 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 right oh, right. Oh, oh. That's they true. love that. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so we'll see what happens. I mean, Bo Dallas. I don't know. I think it may. I think Bo may be a, a flash in the pan. But me too. I, he could be. But I, there's part of me that says that might get over. It might get over. Right. What do you think about uh, Stephanie McMahon? The three big, big segments on Raw were basically Batista the way it should be. The 9 o'clock hour, the 10 o'clock hour, the yeah, 11 yeah, o'clock yeah. hour with the three big segments. Big Dave quits in hour number one. This is uh, hour number two, Stephanie McMahon. Uh, basically, the, the, the she deal with... made the, a lot of announcements all in one. Well, right the here. deal with Daniel Bryan is, and, and honestly, I don't think they know how long they don't. he's going to be out. And no, they he, don't. Here's the question yeah, that I'm going to yeah, ask right. you. You know, somebody gets surgery, and all the time we hear, you know, it's going to be four to eight months, it's going to be six to 12 months, yeah. this, that, and the other thing. What is the deal with Daniel Bryan that us and WWE can't get a timetable on when this dude is going to be back? What is so different about Daniel Bryan? Where with, right. other, with other people, we've been able to find out, hey, you're going to be back in three. Why is there no timetable whatsoever with a neck surgery the right the, the issue and it was a minor procedure the, the the issue is it's a neck and the way the guy works and what's safe versus what's doable like all right maybe by money in the bank he could return but is that safe like is he risking his health mm-hmm. in doing so long story short whether they they want to do what's safe this and that and that's what they preach and you have to believe it because a lot of times let me finish don't because I'll forget They'll put the guy through the physicals, and they're like, oh, listen, that. they don't pass. Hey, you don't pass a physical, you can't. Go pick a break. With Daniel Bryan, this clearly, because from what I was told and what I've heard, this is a shoot in the sense that, okay, yeah, at Money in the Bank, one of two things is going to happen, and it's not just a television angle, oh, let's wait to find out which one they go You're with. Right. You're no, right they don't know which one they're going right. with yet, and they laid it out to the fans the same way. Like, look, at Money in the Bank, you get one of two things is happening. Either Daniel Bryan versus Kane in a stretcher match, no longer a buried alive match. You can right. do that in a second. Either that's happening for the title that Bryan still holds because his wife quit and he didn't lose the title, or 
the Money in the Bank ladder match is going to be for the title. Mm-hmm. That's because they don't know which it is yet, because they, they don't, don't know about right. Bryan, like you said. Now, the, the, the part right. that's really shitty in that is, if you're Daniel Bryan, you might say, and it was almost like a shooting, like I said, because Stephanie, or John Cena said in the later segments, which we'll get to as this segment goes on, uh, he comes out and he basically says, Daniel Bryan, the same, Cena says, same thing happened to me. I got injured. I forfeited my title because I knew I'd get a chance to get it back when I come back. Daniel Bryan, you guys buried him and held him down for so long right. that if he gives you the title and goes and gets his neck, you know, he lets his neck heal up. When he comes back, he might not never get another shot true. at the belt again. So it's like, well, well fuck, I don't want to get it. So, but if you're Daniel Bryan to finish it up, mm-hmm. you don't know in real life, not storyline, not TV. You in real life, you're like, fuck. If I don't work this money in the bank pay per view, they're gonna take my title. Mm-hmm. Whoever wins the Money in the Bank ladder match, they're going to give it to them, and now they've gotten... They, they gotten but it's not up to Daniel Bryan. It I mean, is. It's, it's WWE's creative team. I don't know. They're, they're, they're going to Based on this decision, it's up to Daniel Bryan. If he says, yes, guys, I can work on June 29th. Right. right. If I can work June 29th, they say, okay, good. You and Kane stretch a match, you're still champ. If I can't, they're taking my title from me. Even if I'm ready two weeks later, they're taking my title from me. I know that's and true. And will I that's ever true. win it back? Because listen, they got they had their back against the wall uh, as far as executive the WWE uh, executive side because that second half of last year it was so clear the fans are not going to sell for anything at WrestleMania main event unless Daniel Bryan's in it and wins the title. I will tell he gets you this moment, this and that. They had no choice but to do it. Now that they've done it, if they take it from him. There's not like, oh, we have to give it back. Then the I will tell you. Or the fans are going to go nuts because the fans already got what they wanted. All right. If now we take it from them, we don't. We got. Gets, we dodged a bullet. We gave everybody what they wanted. We don't look like the bad guys. But hey, he got injured. We can't help that. We took the title. Now we're not giving it back to him because we don't have to. If that is the case, that's the only reason he got in the first place because the they case, had to give it to him. Number one, number one, you know damn well that WWE wants Daniel Bryan back for Money in the Bank. Number two, if it's being left up to Daniel Bryan, I don't care if he's injured or not, Daniel Bryan will work the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. If what you're saying Maybe. is it's up to Daniel Bryan, Depends on how Daniel serious Bryan the risk it is, will man. come out and work the Money in the Bank pay-per-view because he knows, like you just said, yeah. if he doesn't work the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, well, that's, they're taking the title okay. off of him and he may never get another. Okay, exactly. That's the situation we're in. So, so the final work. So you're saying Money in the Bank, June 29th rolls around, Sunday, June 29th, if Daniel Bryan will be in the ring, Wrestling Kane, and the Stretcher Match. If the decision match. like you're no, saying it does. is it's up not, to it, Daniel it, Bryan. It is up to Daniel Bryan. If okay. he says, I'm working, I'm okay, I can do it, Right. that's the match. Don't you think that WWE that's is going to give it's him a, a physical? Don't you think they're going to say, well, wait no, a minute, no we're going to check with doctors, there is no physical. we're going to make sure there's no you're ready to go. It's up to him. He got the next procedure. They're not going to let him in the ring if a doctor doesn't clear him. He's cleared. The next surgery's done. He's told, yo, you can't be in the ring until at least this date and doctors only give you the at least but you usually go after it at least this date if he's he's got his next year he's done it's cleaned up now it's just a matter of when do you feel strong again when do you feel ready do you feel good this and that if he says I feel good I feel ready this and that they're gonna alright then you're good to go you got your procedure well, they want him back you're healed early. you recovered uh, uh, clear, you clear, feel good go ahead clearly they want him at money in the bank but if Daniel Bryan says, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm, I'm good to go, then he's working. I don't think they're just going to allow him back in the ring. They're going to check with their own doctors. They're going to check, check with the what? doctor that did the surgery. If the doctor clears him, he's not clear. Well, how do they decide like, if they clear him? They ask him, hey, do you feel, you know. How do they decide when anybody's cleared? How, how do they decide because when you anybody's get a timetable when, when you first get your clear. surgery. They he say, can yo, you can, yo, you get cannot MRIs have any. And everything else. No, it's the same as when, even if you're not an athlete. If you're if you get a broken neck and you get a surgery and they say all right, in this case it was a minor procedure, you need at least six to eight weeks before you can do anything physical. Let's say you're a manual labor worker, you can't go back to your construction job for four days. You can't have any physicality because neck's healing. Six to eight weeks, no physical contact of any kind. After the six to eight weeks, it's pretty much do, do you feel strong, healthy, this and that? We'll take a look at your neck. Is you know is everything? which it should be, you got it cleaned up and fixed it. It's just a matter of healing now, you know. Are you okay? Do you feel good? Do you feel, you know, and if he does, then it's all right. Then you can work. 
if, if that's the case, I think we're going to see him back on June 29th. I, I think we're going to see him in the ring. He's going to defend that. I don't know what if the they're is. leaving, if they're leaving it up to him, like you say they are, then they're well, no, leaving it up to his neck. He's not, he's not going. They're leaving no matter, it up to his neck. No You're right. Yeah. Even, even if he says, says, if I don't work on June 29th, if I don't work the pay per view, the title is coming off me. And look how long it took me to get this title. I am not letting this title go. Yeah. As I, it may take months to get it back. Look at look how long it took me to get it. Now that I've got it, a freak injury, and now they're going to take it off me. I ain't letting that title go. So no matter how he feels, come yeah. June 29th, but the, he will go out there and work so he can keep it. And the going. analogy is like a UFC fight where you have a guy that gets cut real bad. Clearly, the fight should be stopped. But he says, no, I can still see. The doctor right. says, well, listen, can you see? Because if you can't, we got to stop it. And he said, no, I can see, I can see. And even though you, as a fan, see the cut, and it's right in his eye, it's bleeding right into his eye, this and that, and you're like, God, they got, he's, he's going to get his ass whooped. Don't let him back. Right. And the, and the doctor does what? He says, can you see? You know, he's got to take his word for it. All right. If All right. Daniel Bryant, right. and, and, and that's why I said it, it's kind it's of. It's a good analogy. Right? And my whole I mean, point, my whole point was it's fucked up from WWE's perspective because obviously, like you said, well, obviously, I mean, yeah. if Daniel Bryant is able to compete, if he's able, like he's if the doctor say, says no, I'm I won't good. let you, then then he can't. Right. But if the doctor says no, you had your surgery, you're healing. Do you feel good? This and that. They'll do the test. Yo, does it hurt when I do? Right. Does it hurt when I do this? Yeah, does it hurt that. when I, I do that? that. Like, and, and if he passed all I those know. little things, I know. then they say, all right. Well, how do you feel? I bet right. you he does. I bet how do you feel? Does because he knew how, he knows how long it took to get that title. So and, and they're basically encouraging him. They're basically here's it in one sentence. They're encouraging him. To return early, despite a neck injury. Hey, if you want to keep the title, if you, fuck, you're neck right. Injury, come on. right. If you want to keep the title, you better come back on June 29th. If not, we're taking it off. That's so, it in one sentence. In one sentence is exactly what Mr. And that's Ryan up. said. It's, Yo, it's, if you want to be the champion, you want to keep this title, you work so hard to get. You're either there on June 29th, or, or we're not. taking it from you. Or Obviously, right. if it's up to him, which it, it's not completely up to him. He's got to get through He's the physical clear stuff. Stuff, you know, right, whatever. Right, right, right. But as long as it's up to him, which in the end it looks like it's going to be. Right. He's, like you said, he's probably coming back. Now, it's whether or not, either. it's that, definitely a risk to his health. How big of a risk is the question. If it's, the a, if it's a big risk, and he takes it because he doesn't want to risk fucking his shit up, right. losing his spot, losing the title, never getting it back, this and that, but you've then that's been, fucked uh, up for WWE. If you're you know. WWE, you be you've, got, him got, a, and, you you've know. got a top guy, you've, you've got very limited top guys right now and John Cena, Daniel Bryan, you know, Triple H, Batista, people like that. There's very limited Absolutely. top guys. So you should never. A guy that's out with a neck injury, I understand he's got the title so it's a little bit of a different story. You're trying to rush yeah. him back as he's got your main WWE World Heavyweight title. But in WWE's eyes, they want him back neck injury or not. We want you back sooner or later. But if you're WWE, you should really be concerned about the guy and his that future with the company. That should be first and foremost. Especially he's considering the name. Yeah. He's going to be here for another five or ten years. Let's look about his future. Not how right about, now. How about, the fact that, how about the fact that you don't need a WWE title match on a pay-per-view to sell no. your pay-per-view? You, you know, know why? Because you're not in the business of selling pay-per-views anymore. You're in the business of selling network subscriptions. So, if you're subscribed, you're either going to watch Payback or you're not. It's not like, oh, I'm going to subscribe All right. for Daniel Bryan versus Kane. If, if that's the case, well, you've and, already subscribed. Okay, if, you're, if you're intrigued enough by one match to sign up, then you've already signed but up for Mania WWE's or whatever. in defense, they did run this angle the last couple of weeks on Raw. They said, hey, on Raw this week, we want you to surrender. Then we're going to Payback. you got to surrender there. In WWE's defense, they are trying to play it week by week well, by yeah. week by week. But then you get the money in the bank. They had no choice by like Payback because they didn't have enough time. Right. To promote a new main event for the title, right. or crown a new champion, or right. vacate it and crown the champion, they didn't have a choice. So now they have a choice, and we see. Let's leave it at what this. What Stephanie McMahon's announcement, which we're talking about on Raw, was, which mm -hmm. is that either he defends, or the ladder match, the Money in the Bank ladder match, is for the title. That's the choice they came up with. Okay, so before we move on, because we've got to talk about the Shield, and then we're going to do rapid fire. We'll take your live phone calls <laughs> as well. It all comes down to one question. We're not going to talk about Damian Sandow's Lance Stevenson. Oh, uh, we've talked about that. Or Rusev's fucking about that Russian you ceremony. My listen, God. Two train wrecks of a segment. Two pointless segments. Uh, so listen, before yes. we move on from Daniel Bryan, Correct. you already know the answer uh, from me. June 29th, oh. WWE Money in the Don't Bank. Don't do it, man. Against Kane. Don't do it. Do we see Daniel Bryan Don't against Kane on June 29th at Money in the Bank? Or Don't. do we see the Money in the Bank ladder match? 
before the vacated WWE title. You know what a better question is? Title. Which I want to know what Which would I rather see? No, I'm, I'm, I don't care what... I say see. I'd rather see the title on the line in the ladder match. I would too for the health of Daniel Bryan. Not and just the health, no, for the entertainment Bryan. aspect. I think it would be exciting to be like, oh but shit. But the Money in the Bank ladder match already has something on the line. It's got the briefcase, yeah. so you know the winner is going to go on and get a title shot anyway. Yeah, but that sometimes gets drawn out for a year. It's different when you tune in. I like that. If I tune in Sunday night, June 29th, I'm guaranteed to turn my computer off because WWE Network or TV... And I'm guaranteed I got a new world champion. I can night. tune into Raw a week from now, three weeks from now, three months from now, or twelve months from now. That's the point. And a guy's got a briefcase. That's the point. And at any time he That's, can cast that briefcase I in for it. a title. That that to me is more intriguing. My point than is the interest. No. Long term, of course, that's more intriguing. I'm saying, what's better for Money in the Bank? What what would excite me more? Daniel Bryan Kane stretcher match. Or Money in the Bank ladder match where no matter what, at the end of this match, we have a new world champion. I'd like to see... That's more exciting. I would like to see both. I'd like to see Daniel Bryan and Kane because... I have no interest Daniel, in Daniel Bryan Because Kane. Daniel Bryan... No. Com- okay, coming at... If we see both of them, okay? If we see both, we come out of Money in the Bank with two things. Daniel Bryan is still WWE World, world Heavyweight Champion, which is what everybody wants to see. And a guy that has a briefcase for the next year, can go in and cast that briefcase at any time. If Daniel Bryan doesn't work the pay-per-view, yes. we come out of WWE Payback, no. or we come out of WWE Money in the Bank, and we see one new champion, no, I agree. and it's not Daniel Bryan, I agree with that. and nobody has a briefcase I for the next I ask the question, year. what is like more it. exciting for the night of Sunday, June 29th? That one show. What's more exciting as the main event? Daniel Bryan Kane stretch your match for the title? Money in the Bank ladder match for the vacant title where a new champion is going to be That night, not what's best business, what's best long term. That night, that show, what would you rather see if it well, Let's pretend it's the last WWE show ever in history. Which would you rather see as your main wait event? Wait a minute, wait a minute. They're going to do the Money in the Bank ladder match anyways. We're going to see that match anyway. You're not following I'm saying, me. No, I am following You're not. I am following. I would probably rather see Daniel Bryan and Kane for the WWE oh, World done. Heavy with it. Why? Because coming out of the paper. No, game, no, I'm coming out of the paper. Pretend that's where WWE ends. They don't exist. After well, then it doesn't make any sense. My to question it. was, what's better for that show? That's a stupid question. No, my question was, what's better for that show? What's a better main event for a single show? Not what's better long term. The Money booking. in the Bank ladder match. The Money in the Bank ladder of match. Of course, everybody wants to see a Money in the Bank ladder match. No, no, but no, after no. it's over, what As happens? A, what's more attractive? Main event. Let's put it this way: If there's no network and they're still in the pay-per-view days where you got to buy the pay-per-view, yes, and you're deciding it based on, all right, your main event. I'm only buying it if the main event's the main event I want, and you got two options. Am I going to spend seventy dollars to watch Daniel Bryan Kane stretcher match, or seventy dollars to watch a vacant title be on the line in a Money well, in the Bank ladder match? The and that's t- it. Don't look what happens next after the, the pay-per-view. The Just vacant, that. Which the, would you spend is, your money on? This is the last show ever, so I'd like to see a Money in the Bank ladder match. Forget that part. Even if it's not for the vacant title. Oh, nice. You're losing it. Doesn't you're going but, off on a tangent where I said pretend that he doesn't exist. Daniel I'm Bryan, saying for one show, which would you rather spend a your ladder money match on? Or Daniel Bryan versus Kane. A ladder no, match. A ladder match for the vacant title or Kane def- or challenging Bryan for the title. A ladder match. match. Which is a more appealing okay. main event a, to spend your money on? A ladder match for the vacant title that doesn't mean a goddamn thing. But yes, a ladder match. What do you mean doesn't mean a goddamn thing? It wouldn't mean, a, it wouldn't mean anything. Why would it mean anything? Because it's the last show. In no, WWE. see, you're focused it's on that part. I said, which would you rather spend your money on as a main event for a one show? Which would you rather buy? Which show? Let's put it this way. Yes. Money in the Bank is going to be a headline by Daniel Bryan Kane and a stretcher match. Yep. Battleground. Well, that's a bad example. Money in the Bank is going to be defended in a, in a vacant championship ladder match. In the Money in the Bank ladder match, the title is going to be decided in that match. Yes. Or Battleground, Kane versus Daniel Bryan in a stretcher match for the title. Which pay-per-view would you rather buy? I'd, I'd rather buy the, the, the ladder match pay-per-view. Thank you. But, but so that's a more attractive main event. That's all I'm right, saying. But if, but if Daniel Bryan is going to face Kane, okay, for for the title as it is, yeah. let's have that, and then we'll do. No, the no, I agree match. with that part. Right? Uh, yeah, it's better to keep Bryan champion, get a great contender in this ladder match for him, and and, yes. and going forward, that's Absolutely. better. I was just asking for a single night event. What is more attractive for you as a main event? What would of you rather see? Of course a ladder see? match. Of course a ladder match. That's, and anybody that's, that's that says otherwise. But All if right. you're looking beyond the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, I want to see a ladder match not for a vacant WWE. Th- we've waited so long to see Daniel Bryan as WWE Champion. And he has and now he's we defended it once. 
Right, but now we've got him as Once. champion. So let's do this ladder match. We'll do the ladder match for the briefcase. Then for the next year, we never know when this guy's going to cash in. We do the Daniel Bryan Kane match. Daniel Bryan, so we come out of money well, in the bank. You on all this. We come out yeah, of money in the bank. And we've got Daniel Bryan, number one, as WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and we come out of money in the bank with a guy with a briefcase for the next year that can challenge for that okay. title at any time. So that if I asked you a second question, scenario. it was, all right, well, Stephanie said either this or this is happening. Mm -hmm. Which would you rather see happening? You would rather see Daniel Bryan Kane stretch around the title <coughs> because that guarantees a new challenger wins that briefcase in yes. the next year. So you yes. would rather see that main event happen, Daniel Bryan Kane. I would rather see. So when June well, 29th hits, Bryan, you're hoping, fingers well, crossed, we get Daniel Bryan Kane stretch around. Absolutely. Right. Because Me too. if we get that, Me too. After, we agree that. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Because we want. I was asking want a this, totally different I know, question. I understand. Yeah. I understand. But both of us coming out of money in the bank. We want to see Daniel Bryan as World Heavyweight Champion. He hasn't got a okay. chance to be World Heavyweight Champion yet. He well, wanted at Mania, right. honeymoon, dad dies, time off, one match with pain. Him one time. One right. match with right. pain, neck injury, time off. Are you post or right. are you relinquishing the title? Are you keeping it? We haven't seen anything yet with his title so run. He hasn't had a title so run yet. That's why we he won the belt, and and, right. and now we're waiting for him to be the champion. Right. Still. And then, but then, here we are saying we want to see Daniel Bryan at the pay-per-view. That's exactly what WWE wants to see as well. I want him at the pay-per-view. For, for, the for the health of Daniel Bryan, it's like... Uh, I want to see Daniel Bryan at that pay-per-view if it's not going to short his yes. career by 10 years yes. or fucking, you know what agree. I mean? Yeah, agree 100%. All right. Now, all right. Let's go. Good debate, brother. Yeah. All right. Now, now what we were to debating. the main event of Monday Night Raw. <coughs> Stupid question that you asked. It was a great question. It you was just refused thing. to answer it properly. You kept looking. Well, what about coming out of Monday Night Raw? That's not what I'm asking. It's a dumb question. All right. Anyways, uh, the end of Monday Night Raw from last night. Yeah. So, what did you think of Seth Rollins? A lot of people, the caller called up just a little bit ago. That was the one I wanted to get to. Dean Ambrose was the guy. If that any you of those thought. three, Roman Reigns, right. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, are a fucking heel at their core. Yes. When, they, when you boil them down as a human being and as a person, you put them in a wrestling world. Who's a heel? Who's a baby face? Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Way up here and. More so than Rollins any of them. Because Roman Reigns. Reigns could be right. either. He could be a big. Fucking nasty heel, right? Or he could be a fucking jacked up babyface. Seth Rollins funny. seems to me clearly to be the babyface of the group because of his work style you know in the ring, and he's little, and he's got you know. I think in recent weeks, and you've been talking about it, the star of the promos is has Rollins. been Rollins. I agree. So I think that WWE, but not heel not promos. But, but, but I think WWE is realizing that as well. That hey, you know what? In recent weeks, with these promos that we've had the Shield cut, Seth Rollins has been the breakout star or the best talker right now. So, I agree. we are going to reward him, if you will, reward him yeah. by having him go to the Shield under Triple H and Randy Orton, two of WWE's biggest stars. And we're going to be doing Seth all the Rollins. talking. After his, I, here's true. why I did it promo. Right. After he does his explanation promo, he's a guy in the background while Triple exactly. H talks. Exactly. That's so exactly. is it really rewarding him? You know what I mean? I know, like, ooh. I know, I know. but at the same time, it does elevate his status. It because, does. Elevate. You know, if Shield were to just break up and yes. Reigns went off on his own, right? Ambrose and Rollins were left to try and do something with their careers. Mm -hmm. you, you take Rollins from the Shield and put him straight into Evolution. It instantly says this is a top oh, guy. This is a top guy. Because Name the with history Triple of Evolution. H right. Triple H, Ric Flair, Batista, Randy Orton. Right. Seth. Rollins. Seth Rollins. He's added to a right. nice group of names. You know it's, what I mean? It, and, and like you said, dude, it immediately elevates him. It puts to, a stamp on him. This right. is a fucking top guy. I think it should have been Ambrose just it because he's a better talker. He's, he's a, a better, better heel talker. in general. Even heel. in the ring, he's got right. his heel, his work and style is more heelish. Let me say this. I'm not a fan of the Shield breakup. I think that from what I've seen in recent months on WWE television, when See, I, I watch your Raw, money in the bank, I watch Raw. Going forward, I love wait the idea of the Shield minute. breaking up. Right wait now, I agree. I don't think they should. When I watch going Raw, forward, I'm the, the Shield breaking up is great. Take this pen and stab the shit out of you. Listen, listen. Just going forward, I'll stab you with the fucking pen. <laughs> Coming out of Raw, well, I listen, think it's a better listen. idea. We watch Raw every week, right? What is one of the highlights of Raw besides like Paul Heyman, anything Paul the Shield Heyman does? Promise, 
anything the shield does. Microphone, ring work, right. anything. And they break them up. Well, Bray Wyatt's promos are, are up there yeah. as one of the... Yeah, you're not big on Bray yeah, Wyatt. I was huge. Who was a bigger Wyatt family fan than me when but, they first came out? I just think they don't make any goddamn sense. They come off, they sound cool. Right. But I don't know what the right. fuck he's half- no, talking okay. about half the time. Listen, I mean, Seth Rollins just joined Evolution, so let's see where they go that route, yeah. right? Now, somebody brought it. They better not do nothing on SmackDown. Well, you nobody's going to see it. Does somebody new join the Shield to kind of even the face? How now, do you... Yeah. At, at, at uh, Money in the and Bank. Who would? At Money in the Bank. Are we going to see Triple H, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins against Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and... No. Are we going to see something like that? I think we see Reigns, Ambrose, versus Orton, Rollins. Reigns, Ambrose, versus Orton, Rollins. I like that. And we build to... I like that. Triple H, Reigns... Roman, Roman Reigns. At SummerSlam. So first, we got to get through this tag team okay. thing. And all right, oh, he beat us again. Wait a minute. All right, me and you one on one. You know, SummerSlam. Why not do? Why not do Reigns, Ambrose against Rollins? Don't no, say no, Triple wait H. Wait That's minute, retarded. Wait no, you're gonna do Triple H and Roman Reigns, and then you're gonna have Orton and Rollins against Ambrose. And a new member of the Shield. No, because that that doesn't work. Why not? It just doesn't work because it's a new member. He's not Don't part you think of the feud. They, this feud's been going on since the day Mania ended. They should even the sides though, three on three. And right now, they after put, Raw last the night, way to it's even it is two. Triple H just isn't involved in the actual match. The angle, yes, but when we get into the ring, no, I, I got business to take care of as the CEO. Blah blah yeah, blah that's blah. Yeah, true. They could go. But that then route. Reigns and, and Ambrose beats him and fucking smashes the shit out of him. And Triple H says, you know what, fuck this shit. Right. Me and you, Roman Reigns, enough of this fucking three-on-three. Three. Me and you, man-to-man, man, who's the fucking better leader of a group, Evolution, Shield, whatever they want to yeah, promote but, Okay, if they're going to do that, if they're going to do Triple H versus Reigns, um, then you would still have Seth Rollins and Randy Orton against Dean Ambrose and nobody. So there's got to be something... Well, no, you, at that point you could go Rollins... Ambrose at SummerSlam. If we're going all the way to SummerSlam, you're going to do singles matches. I believe Battlegrounds yeah. before SummerSlam, right? It is. It's all right, so you got two pay per views, Money in the Bank, Battleground, to get to do all this stuff. By the time we get to SummerSlam, what I think it'll be is Triple H Reigns, right? Probably Rollins, Rollins Ambrose, Ambrose, and then Orton with somebody else. And Orton, or Orton's off doing his own see, thing. I think point. we may see a new member of the Shield. I hope we do. To offset, it would be cool, right? But I the only problem there right. is, if you give a new member to S.H.I.E.L.D., you can't break that group up anytime soon, because you just yeah. established a new group. Yeah, that's true. So now you got that's a year true. of letting these guys run, and we need, Let me get, say we need to get Reigns off on his own, is what the goal is. Before we get into Rapid Fire, we're going to have to go maybe five or ten minutes long, but before we get into Rapid Fire, i got to be honest with you, and if you guys are honest in the chat room, and if you're honest right here... I'm always honest. I didn't see the swerve coming last I didn't either. I didn't at see all. it coming. Uh, at all. You know, Roman Reigns said... I will know, say this. At Payback, I thought it was a possibility. Not at all, though. Right. Once, right. once the Shield won, and the way they won, I'm like, well, all right, well... No, the whole is leaving, the, Evolution's done. The whole... Shield goes on to the Wyatt family or something. The whole promo thing where they said, coming out of Payback, these three guys are just in disarray, and the three of us are Sorry. standing here... We're a family. We're brothers. We're brothers. A family. We're a family. Yeah. We're brothers. And then they that did the should whole have been thing. your clue, I guess, in retrospect, right. but who would have fucking known? You know? They did the whole thing where they, they all put their yeah. hands together and then boom, out of nowhere, Seth. The Rollins difference is you guys are three individuals in a group. We're right. fucking three brothers that have a family. We're got the That's same cause. Exactly right. Two minutes later he's beating the shit on with a chair. No, I did not see that coming. Right. It Absolutely was, not. It was a hell of a swerve on Raw. Anyone who says they didn't see it coming is full of shit. I think so. There was a, one guy on Facebook. B, somebody, if they did say it, how would they know Rollins over Ramb- you know, over Well, Ambrose. that was the thing. They said Dean Ambrose was going to join. But somebody took a screenshot, put it up on my Facebook page last night. And somebody, I don't know who it was, Tweeted some it fan, something. called the entire thing. But... He said that it was going to be Ambrose that was going to be the one that turned. It and then below that, he said, but I think it should be Rollins that turned. And sure enough, it was Rollins that wound up turning. That's it was interesting. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck made him think I that? Think I'd like was, to get uh, that guy to call in. 
Uh, I think it was uh, Teresa might have put that Teresa, on my Facebook page. If it page. was Teresa, no, she, she put a screenshot up on my Facebook oh, page. Last well, whoever night. said that, I wish they call it. I'd love to hear why they thought that. Right? What made them think that that was going? There was no clues that like, oh, well, obviously the shields are going to fucking somebody's going to turn on Monday. Yeah, I didn't. Now, there see was any a, clues. There was a, a photo that somebody put up on my Facebook last night, and somebody had called it. They said that Ambrose is going to be the, the one to turn. A Facebook post. There was Twitter? a screenshot of a guy that put something on on Facebook. On Facebook, he put okay. a he put a Facebook post up Maybe that says okay. tonight. He said tonight something like tonight. Mark my words, Dean Ambrose turns on the shield. Teresa said and then, it was her. And then below that, uh, in the comments section, it said, "But I think it should be Rollins." So did this Teresa chick? Did she say that, or she just took the screenshot? Because everybody, she says it's her. Everybody else is saying it was her. It was Teresa. It was her. She said it was oh, me. And I saw a photo. That so was, was she photo. the person who said it, or she maybe she took a screenshot of her own? Yeah, of her own. Post. Teresa if should call Teresa. in. She if should if call. It was I would love to hear the thought process behind. Why did you think? That oh, was I bet happen? somebody's turning on the shield tonight. What? Yeah. Like, what would even make you think that? There was no. There hints. really was. I, I mean, know. there were some hints in recent months that the shield. No, was that they were breaking up. up. Yeah, but we didn't know. And they, but they dropped those, and they went a different direction. Right. So there was no, like, oh, well, now they're going to do it. No, no. All right, here we go. We got to do rapid fire. We got a couple of minutes. That was Monday Night Raw last night. I got to be honest with you, man. I didn't like it. The three big things that that happened on Raw, I thought all three big things, Big Dave quitting. And they were big. The opening segment. Steph uh, making that announcement. Yes, Steph with the announcement. But in between, everything else was filler, like you said. Yeah. So we had that. And there was some bad filler last night. There was some very bad filler with the Rusev segment. God, that was fucking Damien and Sandow doing the bad. Basketball thing. Oh Jesus! I know. I the Los Matadors, three MB tag match. Like there was some Oops. shit last night that was like, oh god. We're gonna have to uh, refresh the rapid fire second. It's well, a uh, refresh in a we'll uh, we'll cut off the phone calls for tonight, guys. Um, it's going. Oh whoops. All right. Um, we'll get into your rapid fire. We'll take as many as we can. We got a WWE SmackDown being taped tonight. From Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's going to be an early night. Which I just learned today is part of the East Coast. I part guess. of the East Coast time. I could have sworn I would have been an hour behind. East Coast time zone. So we'll get through of uh, the, as many of these rapid fire questions as we can. With our here blazing tonight. fast Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. And then we've got to get uh, we've got to get out of here for uh, WWE. And there's just who's making pizzas. Is it pizza tonight for dinner? Yeah. And there's a ton of them. And she's too. making two of them. Oh, said. God. We're never... I mean, we'll take 15 of them. Oh, fuck me. There's no way we can... Let's, let's, sorry. let's do 15 of them. Unless we do one word answers. Here, turn me. Uh, Steve Williams Jr. Hey, Ryan and Matt. There is a new... Is there a new member of the Shield? My pick will be Brad Maddox. I don't agree with Brad Maddox. If there's a new member, it won't be Brad Maddox. He did say... Correct. Or Solomon Crow or Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, I think, Sami is Zayn, right yeah. in there. Yeah. Tim Krieger, do you think they... Do you think they made Rollins turn heel because they felt he was the weakest of the trio as a way to build him up? That's an interesting question from Tim. I think he was the best on the microphone in recent weeks. Or, like, kind of this guy him. needs it to, like, this guy can't, like, Reigns can hang on his own. Right. Ambrose can hang on his own. Can Rollins hang on his own? I don't know. So maybe they thought it from, from that perspective. Which Christopher Brown, a uh, question regarding Payback's future after Sunday. Do you see them having one ladder match for the WWE World Heavyweight title and then a ladder match for the Divas title, provided the Divas roster oh. is deep enough now? No, there's only going to be one Money in the Bank ladder match coming up at the Money at the Unless they do a the gimmick one with Torito and Horny. Right, right. John Morgan says, if you had to pick a new third member of the Shield, who would it be? Uh, Sami Zayn is the only one that comes to the top of my head, but I'd have to look at the roster. Right oh, now. man, I'd have to go through the roster. I had Zorro, a good, I've been trying to think of it all night long on here, where I had a guy in mind for a new member, but it, yeah, it's not I'd coming have to, look to at the me roster. right now. Ziggler? Ziggler would be a good one. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Jesse Young, uh, who would be your top guesses for the winner at the Money in the Bank uh, oh, the ladder match? I'm going to say Cesaro if he's in it. Well, he did say if it was for the title. So if oh. it's for the title, it ain't Cesaro. It would no. have to be a guy like Orton or Orton Reigns or, or Wyatt like or yeah. a name. Because if it's going to be it, a champ, he's got to be a champ. It would be a, a big name. It would yeah. be a Cesar- Cesaro's not, not yet. ready. Uh, but if they do the ladder match for the briefcase, I'm going to say Cesaro. Lance Winter says, WZR Fantasy Football sign up. You two in for another great season? Absolutely. Email sent. No, we're not. I'm mm-hmm. doing it ourselves this year. Oh, Remember, we didn't like being part of that Yahoo. We didn't like Yahoo. We'll join that league, but 
myself and Boone are going to have yeah, another sports. league that we want you guys to yeah. be in as well. So, what was that? Yeah, in, addition, in addition to the league that we were in last year, we're going to join that. And we're going to need eight guys because we're going to do a ten-guy league. the contest because there's like t- thousands of we're people. Need, we got to get eight. We're going to need eight guys that watch football that want to be in a fantasy us league. Us count. So there's going to be two WZR leagues this year. Boone and I are going to be in both. We're going to be in the one uh, that... Who ran it last year? Uh, it was either Rygau or, or one of the, I think it was Rygau. Rygau or one of the guys... Whoever ran the league last year, we're going to be in that league. And we're going to need eight guys uh, six. to be in a... Is it an eight-guy league? league? We're going to do a ten-man league. Ten-man. Okay. Eight, you can okay. do eight or okay. ten. Eight or that. ten. We're going to do ten. Um, all right, we got Paul Velasquez or uh, Anthony Rooney. Yeah, real quick, though, if you guys got any ideas, because we need to come up with a contest as a way to – we can't just pick the six guys, eight guys we like the most. That's not fair. We need to let the eight people earn yeah, I a agree spot on the team. We'll so do a contest we'll do, Yeah, sort. if anybody has any con- – I was going to say, if anybody has any contest ideas. We'll, we'll talk we'll, about it. we got all summer long to come when, up with some sort of contest or some something. When we give our feedback at the end of the show, if you have any ideas for a contest, leave in the feedback and we'll take it into consideration. Anthony Remy, uh, who do you got, Ryan and Boone? I'm trying to do it. It's 10.01 right now. Who do you got, Ryan and Boone, New York Rangers or the LA Kings? I'm from New York, man. I got to take the Rangers. Correct answer is? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Yeah, Paul Velasquez says, how shocking would it be if John Jones knocks out Daniel Cormier? Also, Cain Velasquez versus Fabricio Ferratum. Who you got? Uh, if Jones knocked out Cormier, that'd be very shocking. Uh, I, like I said, I might even pick Cormier in that fight. Uh, Verdun, Velasquez, who do I got? I got Velasquez. I'd go Cormier. Uh, I know it's You would pick Cormier pick over, Jones? over Jones? I would, too. I'd bet you some money on that. Uh, no, I would pick Cormier. Velasquez and, uh, and Cain? No, Cain Velasquez, Velasquez and, uh, and Verdun. Uh, Verdun? Ah, uh, Velasquez. Yeah. Uh, Rich Ross. Rich Ross. Oh. <laughs> Do you guys think TNA will be out of business by the end of 2015? That's interesting. 2015? Well, it depends. You know what it depends on? Year? Ooh. Does Spike TV resign? And that should be happening any fucking time now. That should now. be happening in the next couple of weeks. Very soon. If it doesn't happen, then no. no. They will not last a full... Right. They will not last this whole year and all of next year without right. a TV deal. There's just no way. Yeah. Uh, or a major cable deal. If you've already been, we're going to skip over you guys. We're trying to do one question. Stephen Grabeck says, will you buy the new Paul Heyman DVD when it comes out in the fall? No, but I will download it. I'll download it the (laughs) fucking day it's out. Yeah, I'm dying for that one. Uh, Harvey Whitley, Whitley, would you guys ever consider doing a weekend edition of WZR, especially when some weekends are really quiet? I'm all about it. He's always too busy, but I'm always all about it. Always busy, man. Yeah. It's always busy. We'll think Uh, about it. Reggie Cohen uh, at Steve, you beat me to it. I was going to ask the same question. Everyone thought Sheamus was going to join, uh, I guess, Evolution, but ended up being Seth Rollins. Never saw that coming. There were rumors that Sheamus was going to join Evolution. A couple of months ago, a couple right? Of, right? A couple right, weeks right. ago, there was rumors that they were thinking about adding a new member to Evolution and Sheamus was being considered. Right. Uh, AJ Clark, what do you think TNA should do now that MVP is... Uh, where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, there we go. Uh, now that TNA has taped until the pay-per-view, MVP basically has uh, suffered a knee injury. He might be at a, van of, a slam anniversary, right? Uh, yeah, the the interesting point here, dude, is TNA's already taped their impact tapings, leading right So they've already the built center. into them. Yeah, Ooh, so they've man. already got everything mapped out. Until That's slam anniversary is this or next weekend? That's next tricky, week. and he got oh. injured on an indie show. Right. So TNA right. really needs to stop letting at least their important guys, guys that they've already s- fucking done eight TVs building for a pay per view main event. That's the main event. It's the main event. <laughs> yeah, it's true. the key guy in the company. He like runs the company too, right? On TV. And the, unless they, he's, he's like the authority guy. He's the authority figure. So right? he's the main guy on TV. He's the main star in the company. He's right. in the main event of the pay per view, challenging for the title. All your TVs, TVs in the game. TVs taped, right? You should not be letting guys who are in that position. You shouldn't be letting anybody on your TV work indies. But or anybody on your TV that's built anybody up. Anybody under contract. Anybody under contract would be the easiest way. But yeah, anybody certainly that's been built up on TV for a pay-per-view and your TVs are already in the can, you can't right. change it. They should not be allowed to be on the indies. I agree. Certainly not your main event guys. I agree. Uh, Where did we leave off? Tom um, Nelson. I think this guy, right? I thought you just did that. Oh. Should R. Kelly join up with MVP Lashley, Lashley and King? R. Kelly? Like uh, the, the R. Rapper, R&B? Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, Paul Eskins, we said we're skipping duplicates, right? Yeah. Tom Nelson says, is Cena Wyatt feud going to continue? God, I hope not. I guess we'll find out uh, tonight when Wyatt returns on SmackDown. Yeah, Wyatt's coming back on SmackDown, we'll so we'll says. see if they do the blow-off promo or uh, or what they do there. Uh, oh, man, help me out with that name. Well, we already did that name. So oh, we did? It, yeah. All right, uh, Anthony Rowe, we already did Another him. Kenny King thing. He's all about Kenny King. Michael Benitez, how long before Rusev is a joke and starts doing comedy in WWE? I don't see that happening. You know, they're modeling Rusev's gimmick off the late Umaga. Uh, or Kozlov a little bit. Kozlov as well, right? Vladimir uh, Kozlov. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but, um, Russian, scary guy, whatever. You know, they're, they're trying to build him up as a monster, but you know what happens. I mean, it's like they bring guys in as monsters all the I time. I disagree. Do you? I say they've done enough groundwork with this guy where yeah. they're getting some payoff. I think Lena's really good as a mouthpiece. She's awesome. But she's Rams. basically the chick from Rocky IV. Yeah, she's that's big. what you were saying. Uh, she's the exact same thing. But... Right. With uh, Rusev, the only thing that he's, he's good, they're going to take him serious. I don't think he's going to turn comedy like Tenzai or Brody's play. Right. But does he turn into a Ryback where God, he's whatever like... Whatever happened to Tenzai? I'm sorry. Does whatever he turn into a Ryback where Ryback for a period of time, right. feed me more, Hell in a Cell, he was going to yeah. beat CM Punk's fucking legendary title reign he that was ran in the, for uh, the ambulance something. match with John Cena where they were on the right. They were really going to go. Yeah. Right? And he was undefeated just like Rusev. Yeah. They were, and he was a monster. There was a whole same gimmick. Only this yeah. is a Russian monster. He was yeah. just a monster. Yeah. Does he go that route and become eventually he's just another guy? Right. Maybe. Does he yeah. become a jerk all comedy guy like Tenzai Bros? No. Yeah. I think he's done enough for Tenzai and Bros. He's, Tenzai Jesus. does a commentary for NXT You're every right. once in a while. You're right. As Matthew Bloom, his real name yep. or whatever. Yep. Vincent Nugent says, Do you guys think there will be a new general manager of Raw in the future or are the authority going to control that show? Your thoughts? Actually, one line for Vincent Nugent and I give it up, yeah. man. I actually wrote um, a whole column about that. Who should be the new Raw General Manager? Name of the column, eWrestlingNews.com. Check it out. Great boy, shit. Boy, who um, should be the new General Manager? Oh, boy, <laughs> comma, who should be... No. I said in the column, I said it's got to be Hulk Hogan. Hogan is... As much as I love Hulk. the idea of Paul Heyman, he's a heel. It's true. And the authority are also heels. Yeah. If you're going to name a GM and the authority are the authority and they've both got power, yeah. it should be like this. If Heyman's a heel and they're a heel, they would... Why would they hate each other? They, right. would, they would be both. They we want the bad them. guys to win. You there, know. Was, there was nothing... Uh, well, Maddox got fired as GM. Right. So it's like, well, now there's an open spot. Right, but last time I wrote... Oh, they didn't address it. Yeah, they didn't no, no, follow no, they that didn't. up. So yeah. there might not be anybody. But if they're even... And Hogan's under contract. He's getting paid a shitload of money. He can't yeah. wrestle. Yeah. What can you do with him? All right, he can do media appearances for it. Great. Right. What else? Yeah. Well, here's a way for him to be utilized. Well, and that's one of those things that, you know, any week you could come back and say, hey, we're going to name a new general manager tonight. Because we hadn't seen Brad Maddox in weeks, or very seldomly we would see him here and there. We didn't even know that there was a raw general manager until they brought him up in a backstage segment or and something like that. So The other guy that could be things. used, uh, who's been rumored to return as a regular TV character, Rick Flair. Rick Flair. He's got well. the history of Triple H yeah. and Evolution. Maybe Flair's a baby face and he's against his old partner, Evolution running buddy. Yeah. And everybody knows they're friends. And right. Flair's like, I don't like what you're doing. You're not doing the right thing. And mm -hmm. they get this, this conflict going where Flair's calling the shots, but so is the authority. And they get into the thing. You know, right. they could do a lot of things. Flair hadn't passed his uh, WWE medical test him yet. Uh, right. He was supposed to take him in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I believe. Yeah. And uh, hasn't taken him yet. So yeah, not that he didn't pass him. He just didn't take him yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see, uh, Jason Hansen, how awesome was that swerve on Raw with the Shield? That was awesome, bro, we Very talked good, about it. Yeah. Um, best shock factor since Lesnar Taker, I agree with that. I'll right? give you that, yeah. Uh, do you think, uh, this could be a case of a double swerve where Rollins turns on Triple H and Orton at the next pay-per-view, kind of like the, That went through yeah. my mind, but the thing is, he did trash his shit out of Reigns and Ambrose yeah, and Charity. How can you say, ah, oh, we fooled you, I beat the fuck out of someone with a big steel weapon. That's true. And made you think I didn't like him. Well, of right. course you didn't like him. You just beat the shit out of him. Right. How right. do you say, oh, well, we, we fooled you? Yeah. No, you, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Where are we at here? I think we're up around Mike Duggan. Mike Duggan. Oh, we already got this. Who would have the third shame? Uh, Ali Adair. Where do you see the shield going now? Also, where do you see Ambrose after? We already covered that. Uh, covered that one. already got one. David, David Hadley. Hadley. What are your thoughts on the upcoming ROH Best in the World pay-per-view? This is a monumental show for them. Are you going to watch it? No. 
Yeah. I'm gonna watch you it on pay per view. I watched. I thought we're going to this. Where, where, where are we no, going? No, uh, ROH Best in the World. We were gonna go to the recent one. Uh, uh, World you said of, sometime in like War of the Worlds, which was sometime this summer. I thought we we're going to one you said. Uh, the next one, I believe, in New York City is September. Oh, I want to say fuck. September. All right. Yeah, it's, it's about I'm four then, months away. Here. How long? Oh, that's only four months away. Yeah. yeah. June, wait, June, July, August. Yeah. No shit. Uh, ROH, uh, ROH best in the world. I've been world. here for almost a year already. Yeah, I know. Holy fucking Christ. ROH best in the world uh, I pay per view. Um, it does. Uh, I'm I'm gonna order it on uh, on I pay per view. I don't know if I'm, I'm not. Gonna, and you're not gonna order it on I pay per view. You're gonna fucking I'll stream it illegally. Stream it. Yeah. I'll stream it. Um, uh, let's see. Is let's there a repeat, see. repeat, 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 repeat names? Go to Jose. Jose. Jose Leza, will TNA ever go back to wrestling, or will they continue with the comedy sketches? Ah, uh, uh, come on, you're not being fair. They wrestled plenty. But, um, yeah. yeah. No, I did say that, I wrote a column also about NXT TakeOver. I did a review. Right. And I said NXT feels, even though it's technically part of WWE, it feels like an alternative to WWE. Right. Whereas TNA doesn't feel like an alternative to WWE, it feels like a bad version of what WWE is. Right. Do you understand the difference? Right, I, I do. TNA is trying to do what WWE does, it's just a bad version of it. NXT is not trying to do what WWE is doing, they're trying to be... They're trying to be different, right? More like ROH and that right. kind of, we're about wrestling. Right. Uh, Robert Nelson here, says, man. hey, Ryan Clark and Matty Boone, you think that WWE is down because it is always on? What? You think that WWE is down because it is always on? What does that mean? Too much shows. Too they uh, have three hours on Monday, shows. main right. event, SmackDown, less is more. What do you think? Is down because it is always it's on? It's kind of like UFC. They're running all these pay-per-views. Is it overkill? UFC you, has a you? huge problem with that. WWE, is it overkill? I think three-hour Raws are brutal, man. I That's mean, overkill. Three hours is That's brutal. overkill. Well, now, you know? I've never watched SmackDown, really, ever. Right. When Paul Heyman was booking it, when they first did the brand extension, I'd watch it then, and it was actually my favorite of the two, actually. I liked it more than Raw. Right. Uh, the modern days, it's a good question. Are they, are they, they have too many programs. I mean, they need them because of the Three network. Three-hour Raws need to go. Go back to two hours. Let me put it this bro. way. That third hour of Raw and the fact they have SmackDown is the reason they're able to get $180 million from NBC Universal. If you've got a one, if you've got one two-hour primetime show a week instead of Five hours of primetime shows a week. Right. You know, that's three extra hours. That's going to double your, or at least give you a whole shitload of extra bread. Yeah. And with the network, you need more programming because you got to fill time. So, yeah, I don't think it's overkill. UFC it's is... It's all about the money, dude. It's a business. It's all about the money, it's right? It's a business. UFC is overkilling their product. They're, right. they're watering it down with too many shows, especially shows that don't mean shit. Right. That's Tuesday night. We're going to call that Tuesday? Uh, we call that a Tuesday. All right. WZR TV Tuesdays. Uh, sorry for not getting to uh, all of your rapid fire questions, guys. We tried to get you all in at least uh, one comment or uh, or question. We tried to get at least all of you guys. Uh, but we'll be back here next Tuesday night, eight to ten Eastern time. WZROnline.com. WWE SmackDown spoilers coming up on the websites. Bunch of news as well. Um, we're going to try to find more of the raw script as well. Um, the rest of the pages. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put that up. WZRonline.com for that. That'll do it for feedback. Feedback, feedback. We need you to go to Facebook.com slash. Ryan Clark WZR. One more time. That's Facebook.com slash. Ryan Clark WZR, he wants your feedback. I want your feedback at Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. That's Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. Let us know what you thought of the show. What'd you like? We'll do more of it. What didn't you like? We'll do less of it. This is how we make the show exactly what you want to hear and what you want to see on Tuesday nights. Ryan C, get us out of here. For Matt Boone. Me. Him. Now we're here. Eight thirty-seven. Eight thirty-seven.